And hello, internet, on this lovely, balmy. Hey, Phoenix, what's going on? <laughs> You're here just at the start, man. You have perfect timing. Uh, so yes, welcome, internet, uh, on this lovely weekend where we were supposed to get a whole bunch of rain, but I didn't really get a whole lot of rain. It was just kind of overcast where I was at, but I think all my friends pretty much got rain. So uh, yay, yay me for not getting soaked. Um, but yes, greetings, Phoenix. How's your, how's your weekend going, man? Slowly but surely, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I've, what I've, what I've heard. Uh, it sounds like everybody got rain except for me. Um, I mean, obviously if you look out the window, it's, it's looking like, you know, typical rainy Florida, but, uh, nice. We like quiet and relaxing. Yeah. Mine, my weekend's been good. It's pretty much been continuing to recuperate. There's still some, some neck stiffness, but the more I walk and move and use it, uh, the more it kind of limbers up. So I'm continuing to do my, my physical therapy homework, continue to do my exercises. I slept on my side for the first time in like, uh, since, since my surgery, really. So first time in three, three and a half weeks. So that was nice. Uh, finally could give some of my back muscles a, a little bit of a break. So yes, we're going to do some more battle tech. Remember limited to no more than three car wheels a day. So uh, funny story. I was sharing a, a war story uh, about, about these types of injuries and I'm trying to remember what it was. Okay. Uh, so yeah, somebody else had a, a similar, not, not a spinal injury, but she blew out her knee. And I think within a week, there were a bunch of kids like doing the trampoline thing for one of those party deals. And she decided it was a, a great idea to go in there and, and jump on the, the trampoline cart uh, hut thing. And uh, yeah, shot, to the surprise of no one, hops up on it, feels something given her knee and kind of limps back out. It's like, uh, yeah, I think I think I need to see the doctor again. It's like, um, I don't know what you don't know what you expected. But uh, I mean, I could sort of relate because when you sit still for really long periods of time, like weeks and months on end, I do understand the temptation sort of, but at least in my case, I was like that, that stuff was no joke. I don't ever want to go through that again. So yeah, no, don't worry. I will not be doing any cartwheels. Really? Am I really the weird one that actually like listened to my doctors? It's like, oh, okay. Don't lift more than five pounds. Okay. No problem. I mean, the closest thing I had was I closed the window in my, uh, in my other room because my mom forgot to close it. And I, and so I had to go in there and I was really careful uh, about that, but I wasn't lifting the, the, the window. I was like nervous enough to like kind of lower it. Um, wow. I guess I would be surprised. Okay. So I'm the weird one. Um, yeah, I mean, I do feel better, but they were so clear about do not do any kind of heavy lifting, no lifting more than five pounds. Do not raise your, uh, hands over your head and don't do anything that feels uncomfortable. So I'm like, no problem. <laughs> Uh, but I guess patience is, is one of my virtues. Um, strength obviously was not one of my virtues. You know, I'm like slender man, uh, the, the real thing here, but, um, wow, that's, I guess I, yeah, I would be surprised, man. Uh, my God. Yeah, no, I, I am not, I am not deviating from, uh, from my doctor's instructions. They did really nice work fixing me. I am not going to do anything that would imperil their good work ever. <laughs> I ain't not doing anything until they tell me it's okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, without any further ado, uh, speaking of physical therapy, this in a way is kind of like physical therapy for it. Cause it, it allows me to use my arms and kind of get my coordination back, but it doesn't involve anything really strenuous. And again, it's not an action game. So whenever I need to take a break, I just, you know, kind of rest my arms against the desk and chat with you guys and, and whatnot. Um, so yeah, but I mean, I went to work, uh, I did a half day Thursday, uh, and then I worked the whole day. Uh, yeah, these mechs look heavier than five pounds. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the, the, the centurion we've got is 55 tons. I think we'll look it up in a second, but yeah, the mechs, the mechs are a little, a little heavier than they look and they're a little bigger than, uh, than they may appear too. I think somebody was mentioning on his stream. I think it was my stream. Um, let's see. Actually, oh, would help if I actually turned my speakers on. 
I'm looking at the levels and I'm like, those levels look okay, but I don't hear anything. <laughs> nice gerb, Todd. But, uh, but yeah, it also shows like what year we're at. Uh, and the year is uh, 3025. Hell if I turned my... There we go. Now I'm not fighting the mouse to do a billion other things. Yeah, my default mouse setting, it's set to like the lowest thing possible. So you have to move it halfway across the desk for it to move across the desktop. So I always have to turn the mouse sensitivity, sensitivity on a little bit. I could jack up it up in Windows, but I have a special setting. Or if I hit a button on the side, it turns the sensitivity way, way down. So if I'm trying to hit, you know, a very specific shot and something, you know, that does require good hand-eye coordination, then, uh, then I kind of do that. But if uh, Tracy is in uh, earshot of me, hello. <laughs> Let's see, what was I intending to do? I think we already tidied up uh, the mechs. We were going to do a campaign mission, but I did want to check, make sure we don't have any XP to spend. We don't. Let's go check the mech bay. Ah, excellent. Yes. <laughs> I've got two arms and they work. <laughs> yeah, the novelty of that still hasn't worn off. Oh, perfect. We got two people over here so you can sort of see the scale of uh, the blackjack here compared to these two. Um, and then the Centurion is a little bit bigger, uh, but not not really appreciable. Um, so let's see, how heavy is that Centurion? It doesn't actually, doesn't actually say, isn't that funny? If I hover over it, will it? Ah, yeah, 50 tons, not 55. No, I knew what you meant. <laughs> no worry. No worries, good sir. I knew what you meant. Ah, uh, it looks like we already did all this. So let's see. We could either do our story mission and go to Weldry, or we can go here, spend 30,000 sea bills, and we could try doing a couple of missions up here and get story with that. You know what? Let's do that and let's uh, let's let's kind of do we'll do a quick warm up. All right, good, sir. No worries. I will be right here. Yeah, let's let's head over there and we'll do a couple of warm up missions. Ah. But yeah, my, my back is starting to feel much, much better. Oh, I'm uh, missing. Oops, we got a we've got an event. Oh, yes. Medical. Oh, it's OK. It's not the one I was thinking of. All right, so let's see. Uh, medical expenses. The morning briefing. Darius pulls up an inventory spreadsheet on the Leopard's view screen. We're running a little low on medical supplies. Meta patches, trauma packs, a few other things. It's not critical yet, but I feel better when we're well stocked. I don't blame you, Darius. And you're running a mercenary outfit and you're running into battle all the time. You definitely want some med supplies. Um, so let's see. Oh, and because we're in a, uh, a system with a black market, we could just pay less. And we could have Darius find special discounts. So we're going to do that. We're going to have him make use of this uh, black market here. Uh, wow, morale decreased by two. That's bullshit. Did some bargaining with uh, unlicensed medical distributors. Oh, man. If I'd known that the morale was going to decrease by one, I wouldn't have done that option. I don't think I've ever had this event proc um, pop up with a... Uh, well, now at least I know what it does. Um, that's pretty lame. But anyway... Um, so yeah, Sumir interrupts. Yeah, I saw this on the planetary news feed. A humanitarian crisis has been unfolding. An entire shipment of medical supplies went missing. Oh my god. <laughs> it sounds like that's what we just bought. Darius looks pained. Well, what's done is done. But yeah, I think word got out to the crew. We'll see how they take it. Yeah, that does kind of suck. And I don't even have anybody hurt. I, it didn't, I didn't even need to do that, but oh well. Well, well now we know it does that. Uh, hey, Foki, what's going on? Um, financial report for you, Commander. Is it okay if I play you in the background of my stream? Um, no, I, 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 because I don't, I don't know necessarily what your audience is. And sometimes I might drop an F bomb or anything like that. If, if that's all right with you, uh, uh, I, I, I pass on that. Uh, but I appreciate you asking. And greetings. How's your weekend going? Actually, it just occurred to me. I don't have my own pillow set up here. I need support here. Ah, nice. Excellent. Cool, cool, cool. Yep. And it looks like our operating expenses actually went down. So that's interesting. That's okay. We'll go with this. And we're all right here. Cool. We're just doing a couple of warm ups here. Nice and early. Ugh. 
Yeah, I'm getting better, but I'm still still quite a bit from 100%, but it's nice to be able to play games and for the most part sit up and not it's nice to not be in any pain. So that that part is really nice. But I'm still uh still getting there. I slept a lot yesterday. <laughs> I definitely uh I definitely overdid it a little bit at work on Friday. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. So that's okay. What I'm gonna do instead is uh Yeah, we got two days. We'll go to we'll go and see what jobs there are. But yeah, this week I'm just gonna do uh I'm just gonna play Rolling Stones, see what I did. <laughs> reached, Commander. Oh, let's uh, all right, so let's take a look here. Uh, but yeah, this week I'm just gonna go Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That'll give me Tuesday and Thursday in between to kind of rest up. Because uh, if this weekend was any indication, it took me Saturday to really uh, get back up to speed. But even this morning, I was still I was still pretty stiff. So let's see. Come on. Give me some good contracts. Especially pirate contracts. Give me a couple of pirate... Yeah, there we go. That's good. Perfect. Local government dropship. This looks like it's going to be... That looks like it's going to be difficult, but we'll try that one. Um, perfect. See, this is good. I like missions where we could just go after the local government. Um, these should be pretty easy ones. So, yeah, we'll do we'll do a couple of warm ups here. We'll make some money. We'll buy some components, and we'll see what the story is here. But this will be a this will be a nice start to the stream. Wow, really? That's the difference. Well, do I want that or that? Uh, I think I'd rather take the. Uh, I think I'd rather just go with the salvage here difference is so minuscule and we're talking about yeah all right fine i will definitely take the centurion glitch will take the blackjack i think we'll sw well medusa's still got that going on so we'll swap out the shadowhawk and you can take the vindicator so now, essentially, by getting the Centurion up and running, we've also gotten rid of that awful spider. Now we actually have four mechs that are basically real mechs. So we'll do a couple missions with these. We'll make some money while we get things started. We may get a raid from uh, Freakbot. But away we go here. So let's see, we're going to go inside a local government research facility and uh, return a biological sample. And uh, yeah, the contract includes 20 pages of protocol for handling the sample cases we'll be recovering. <laughs> I love, I love like the little details with some of the banter. Command interface All right, initiated. so yeah, we'll be able to get the samples, but we'll also rescue the operatives if we can. Most of the time, uh, and we'll be re recovering compelling operatives. Um... And they're ready for extraction here and re re reach the facility. Pick them up, get to the evac point. But most of the time, they're going to put the enemies right in our way. So it makes more sense just to defeat everything we kind of deal with here. So let's see. We got... All right. So collect the sample cases. That's our primary mission. And then the operatives are going to be right over... Ah, yep. All right, so... That's our primary, and this is the secondary. Yeah, and we're going to get to the secondary before we even get to the, uh... Oh, that, yep. Right on, right on schedule. <laughs> Greetings, Freakbot. I was just saying uh, that we would likely get a raid from you shortly. But <laughs> I'm in here. <laughs> hey, Darkstar. Greetings, Ghosty. Greetings, everybody. We're just getting a couple of warm-up missions uh, as we uh, get ready to do some campaign missions. So our, uh, our employer is paying us to recover some uh, biological samples and some operatives. So we're going to go and this is pretty much a rescue op, but with Warmex. How did the rest of the stream go? Did you end up ever finding the bow? Let's, uh, let's do this. Affirmative. And we'll do this. Confirm. Oh, he might be still wrapping up things. And I know he's got a public sub waiting for him. Although he still has 40 minutes to get his public sub. <laughs> ha ha ha! Surprise! 
<laughs> we'll do a couple of shout outs here too while we're at it. Why not? Let's do that and we'll do this. Copy. And while they move, we'll do a couple of shout outs here. Hey, I'm supposed to drop us out and dip out. Ah, <laughs> uh, Sam has got some work to do. Yeah, it sounds about right. So we'll also do. I don't know if you stream, but let's see. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. I, I'm thinking you stream on YouTube or something, right? Or do you only stream on uh, Discord? Yeah, excellent. Why is there no enemies yet? As we kind of work our way up here. I read you, Commander. Moving out. I'm not liking position confirmed. That, but we'll jump up here. Confirmed. All right, this is way too quiet. Here. Take glitch up here. Moving out. Yeah, that's that's what I was prepared for. Oh, really? Yeah, okay, fine. Guess we're going to just try and get some evasion going here. On my way. And I'll at least be here to provide some backup. Copy that. Ah, uh, gotcha. We have the secondary asset, Commander. Bring it home. Well, that was cool. We accomplished an emission objective before we even really got detected here. Where's the rest of it? Yep, there they are. Cavalry's coming in. And so, yeah, the, obviously the Shadowhawk needs to survive in order for that um, objective to be complete. Waiting for orders. Now, let's see whatever the hell this is. Although, if I jump over here, I can also do it. Yeah, we're going to do that. Have cover. Here we go. Oh, freaking locust. Yeah, let's... Let's make this guy's life miserable. Roger. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't take much. Those locusts are fast, but they they don't take a, they can't take much much of a much of a beating. Waiting for orders. Let's see, oh wow, really? I can only fire at you, huh? I hear ya. Well, I can't shoot at you anyway. So, I guess we're going here. Yep. All right, fine. Let's try and take out the locust. Yeah, we'll just shoot you. Because even though that locust was down, it could still spot for other things. Which I really, really didn't want to have to deal with. Yep. So perfect. You can now come over here. Lifting off. And what I'll do is I'll brace it so it'll be very well protected here. Marvelous. Good to go. And you can sprint. And the question is, where am I have you sprint to? Yeah, I think we'll just go this way out. Perfect. Full throttle. And we're just having a kind of a Bob Ross session of Battletech. We're just uh, just having a nice relaxing mission, at least at the moment. Before all hell breaks loose and all my plans fall apart to the amusement and hilarity of all. Yeah, that's the type of mech Iron Ore was talking about. It's basically the same weight as a spider, but it's so much, it's such a better mech. 
Just some pretty little dis Yes, just some pretty little destruction. <laughs> uh, ah, yeah, but exactly. So whatever this is, this is probably a panther because it fired a PPC. And so this fucking javelin just spotted for this little bastard. Um, let's see. These guys all went. Question is, how do I want to go about this? Um, I really don't want to be even be bothering with this javelin because my entire lance could fire at it and I don't know if I would hit it at all. So, I am inclined. Ready for orders. Well, or I could just sit right here, use the cover of the forest and just shoot at the spider. Uh, all right, if that's going to be the case. What's up, Bach? I'd rather be here. Hmm. I'd rather be here and be doing the same thing. Firing jump jet. We'll let the Vindicator continue having that really high defense for a minute. Yeah, those are good. There we go. Yeah, that spider, even with it braced, it's not going to last long against a combined assault in my entire lance. On you, Commander. Yeah, damn. That stinks. Oh, so lame. Yeah, I could go over here and shoot at the spider with my LRMs. I think that's all I could really do. All right. Well, let's do that just so I could fire at it a little bit more. And then we'll have to have glitch sprint. That's all right, 20% reduction. So they'll do three points of damage instead of four. Really not that big a difference. Orders. Yeah, okay. We will open fire. Well, we still... What can I do for you? It still had a bad day. We'll do that. And then you'll be a good target. So among the raiders, how have your weekends been? The secondary asset is under fire, Commander. Yeah, thank you, Darius. I know that. <laughs> Fortunately, that Shadowhawk is pretty well armed. Depending on where that javelin ends up. Might want to actually go after the javelin. Yep, I was right. It was a panther. Yeah, shocker. Alright, so now, strategically speaking, what does Seraph wish to do? Plus, I got that freaking striker narc that's going to be a problem. And it's not pre-damaged like all the other ones are. And now that spider is going to be taking like 50% damage. It's not like it's really spotting all that much anyway. I think I'm better off. Orders. I think we're better off going back over here. And I might be better off just making that panther... Hate its life. Copy that. That's really not much of a difference. I'm at 85. Yeah. Sure. Considering how little that costs, we'll have a few more SRMs. Hit. Firing. Just because it was cheap to do. Played on Midnight Suns yesterday. Could fully test. The ah, yeah. You were talking about all the mods. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I've never been one to actually make mods. That does sound awesome. I use a lot of mods for, uh... Waiting for orders! For Fallout, but... Don't really, uh... I was never much of a programmer myself. Um... Alright, that being the case... Yeah, we're gonna do that. 
Okay, so the advantage of going from here, for example, where, well, what I was talking about before, we can either hit that front arc or by over here, all the fire is going to be concentrated more on this less now armored left side because I naturally just happened to hit on that side. So, uh, we're going to intentionally strike from this side. Tell me what to shoot. There we go. Nice. And now that panther doesn't have its PPC anymore. Yeah, We've really, hit. we really have kind of defanged it. Let's see. Uh, I'm thinking, yeah, I can't do the same with that, but I can hit you with everything. So, yeah, let's just go over here. We'll shoot the panther with everything. And if I've done my job well, Medusa can finish it off. With the Vindicator. Yeah, that Panther's gonna be in a world of hurt. Enemy Solid hit. Abby detected. pool party is up, making the page for Abby skinny dipping right now, and Abby nudist colony afterwards. <laughs> Seraph, Seraph highly approves. <laughs> that does sound awesome. Hi, hi. Not liking a lot of that. But, uh, yeah, we'll go over here. We'll just move over here. We'll make the Vindicator a slightly nice target. I think they're going to shoot at the Shadowhawk anyway, because it's what's got the, what it has, but it, because it has the asset. But at the same time, we'll try and draw the fire away from the Shadowhawk a little bit. There we go. Blew off a torso. Man, that mech really is getting messed up now. I'm sure only one of those three can be streamed here. <laughs> yeah, no surprise. They still went after the Shadowhawk, but hey, couldn't hurt. I think I must have blown off the weapons on the spider because it's not even trying to shoot at me. That's okay. Reporting minimal damage. But they're really not doing a whole lot to me, just because, just by virtue of, uh, oh yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna be bad for that uh, panther in a second. Let's try to kill the panther here. Yeah, open fire. Actually, nah, it's fine. Oh, yep, there it goes. Perfect. Yeah, at some point I'm going to start streaming Cyberpunk. And that one makes me a little nervous because there's definitely, um... There are definitely some spicy scenes, shall we say. But I think Twitch's content, automated content thing, I think the fact that I'm playing Cyberpunk will automatically generate a warning based on Cyberpunk's game. Plus I have a warning on my stream anyway because I never know what's going to happen, um... on here. What can I do for you? But, uh... Yeah, let's move up a little bit here. Um, wow, I'm definitely not shooting the spider with that. Jesus, that's terrible. Um, yeah, let's advance on the javelin. Don't need to tell me twice. Let's kill this javelin. Just for the sake of it, let's make sure those medium lasers hit. Got it. Wasn't really concerned about where I was hitting it, but wow, and only three out of four hit anyway. So without that precise shot, I probably would have missed with both medium lasers. Good to go. That's okay. Uh, you know what? We'll do the same thing. We'll just make sure things... Oh, well, we're definitely not doing that. Yeah, okay, jumping. fine. Let's just jump. Because jumping does make me a little more difficult to hit. Locking on. There we go. Perfect. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> so you... Wow, that's really all I can... That's really the only distance I can make? I can't jump down that far? I'm kind of surprised I can't jump any further than that. Well, that's okay. 
I'll jump down that far and we'll just shoot at the striker narc. I'm going to try and get the Vindicator to hop over there because it should have better movement than the others. Jump. While I have the other three mechs really making more of a front line fighting these guys. Confirm. Shoot the vehicle. I'm not really worried about that spider because I don't think the spider can even hit me anymore. Oh, good. I got you to actually attack the Vindicator. Perfect. Yeah, the only thing the spider can do is... Uh... Oh, no. The spider still has two medium lasers. I have no idea what that pilot is doing. That spider should at least be trying to fire. I, that's 50 points of damage it could be doing to me every turn, and it's just not. Receiving you. <laughs> Whatever. I'm okay with it being confused. Uh, let's see. Um. Yeah, if I go over here, the only thing I can do is shoot LRMs. Hmm. Well, let's see what the rest. Let's see what everybody else can do here. Let's see what. Wow, this is garbage. Yeah, this is this is pretty much garbage to your uh, positioning here. All right, fine. To go. Fine, if this is the best I could do anyway, I may as well just move over here. Let's just deal with these things. This guy's just bad luck there. But that's all right. I don't want to be ignoring things and then have to worry about it later. Uh, yeah, let me just deal with the... Let me deal with the striker narc here if I can. There we go. Vehicle trashed. Good job, Medusa. Man, whoever's in that vehicle really stinks at their job. Yes, Commander. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, I'm really struggling with... Uh... I mean, if that's the case, shit, I may as well just move there and... Try and hit it. Yeah, I may as well just move there and shoot at that. Fine, let's do that. Moving to position. I guess this cliff face, I just don't have enough jump movement. I'm gonna have to go around the whole the whole long way. But whatever. Copy that. Waiting for orders. Got it. Shoot you with the large lasers. pretty good there we go i was actually about to say like damn you took two large lasers and didn't lose anything out of that uh all right so this being the case hmm yeah let's just sprint this way because i can move my centurion up to the target zone and i could still be shooting at it with the ac5 and the uh, lrm10 and for tabletop, AC5 means that the weapon would do 5 points of damage. The LRM-10 theoretically could do 10 points of damage. That was That's the idea with some of the names. Obviously, this game, they, they have different damage values. I think the AC... Waiting on you, Commander. I think the... Uh, I think the Saturn... Yeah, this does 45 points of damage. So they basically increased them by multiples of 10. Um, let's see. Well, all right. Yeah, let's go up here and we'll shoot at this. All weapons Perfect. That might actually be all of the enemies here. At this point, should just be a milk run the rest of the way out. Yep, exiting combat. We're done. Perfect. On my way. Yeah, good grief, man. Lifting off. 
Yeah, that cliff was uh, brutal. Couldn't get off of it. Oh, there we go. I finally could have gotten off with the Vindicator. That's okay. Perfect. Yep, you're in the right area. Hold position. Yep, and just like I thought, when you wipe out the Op 4, it doesn't make you actually go to the extraction point. So we just saved some time just by killing them. Plus, we should have some decent component salvage here. We may even have some mech salvage. Let's see. And XP is always nice. All right. So, yep, let's go with the Panther salvage there. And the LRM-15 is probably going to be what I grab. But let's see. Is there anything really valuable in here? Nope. Um, damn, part of me thinks I should actually grab that spider. But LRM-15s are surprisingly hard to come by. Um, but no, at this point, let's just take Mech Salvage and see what happens. Oh, and it gave me LRM, the LRM-15 anyway. Nice. Thank you, game. I appreciate it when it's nice to me. It isn't always. So we'll do a couple of these milk runs here. Maybe tweak the mechs a little bit. And then we'll do that campaign mission at Waldry. And the sun is setting pretty fast out there. You know, the mercs. Yep. Local government. This is just going to be a straight up bat. Actually, you know, what? let's do this one first. This is a difficulty, but a lot of times the difficulty lies. The fact that this one is going to pay out more than this one tells me uh, this one, well, it actually is rated as more difficult. So the Intel report probably is accurate on these. But sometimes you might have stuff that's totally different. Uh, yeah, show the flag. Yeah, forget that. That's uh, that's probably going to be a little more than I could chew at this stage of the this stage. Oh, only problem, huh? So we could do that, huh? Ambush convoy? Mm, yeah, I'm not liking that. We're just going to do the hot landing here. So, uh, oh, and uh, satellite sister surveillance pictures show a heavy lance was inserted into the planet's surface by a local government dropship. They believe they're securing the LZ, preparing for whatever operation they have planned. So the idea is go in and hit a well-armed lance. Um, the good news is there might not be reinforcements with this. Let's see, do I want to take the money? That's a lot of extra money. That's a hundred thousand dollars. That's a hundred thousand sea bills more. Um... Or do I, am I willing to sacrifice the salvage? Salvage might be mech component parts. So we're, we're going to go with this. And we're going to gain some pirate rep, which is always good. And I'm going to sneeze. Pardon me. At least I could sneeze now without it being excruciatingly painful. So a lowlands biome is not bad better than Badlands. God, heat sinks don't run for beans in uh, the Badlands. Let's see. Oh, yep, they just, they're just going over the same exact thing. Command interface the nice part about these missions is they do tend not to have reinforcements, so it's pretty much what you signed up for, which is very rare in this game. Usually... They really enjoy uh, throwing curveballs. Coordinates received. Uh, yep, yep, that that tracks. Yeah, we'll do this. Roger that. The advantage of jumping there is I can automatically brace when I land, and so the defense on the mech will be significantly higher. I probably mentioned that before, but I do like to explain what uh, what I'm doing at any given point, so it makes sense. Like, as you can see here, now instead of having no defense and no cover, this has got cover, defense, and it's got an extra layer. So the damage reduction on this mech is 60%. It's pretty significant. Got an <laughs> and it's running? That's interesting. Okay. Well. Good to go. Probably not going to be able to uh, 
catch up to it here, but fine. Let's advance. Wow, there's only one mech here? All right, fine. We'll sensor lock it. What is I've it? Oh, sensor. wow, that's a griffin. Yeah, that's a medium mech. That's uh, that's pretty serious. Um, all right, that being the case, let's Good have... To go. All right. Well... Which will go here, and we'll shoot at it twice. Although it has at least been somewhat damaged already. That helps. We can tell because uh, it's got some some of its life bar missing, but also if we click on it, uh, soon uh, the sensors are impaired because of the sensor lock, but it's also makeshift, so it only carries 75% uh, of its normal armor. That's always nice. And we're shooting it in the back, I think, so it's not going to benefit from that cover anyway. Hey, Perfect. Commander. We'll do that. Same thing. We'll shoot it in the back. I only got a 55% chance of this hitting, but we'll take that shot anyway. Rear armor it is. Perfect. <laughs> wow. Uh okay. <laughs> Missions obviously normally don't go that smoothly. <laughs> yeah, clearly that griffin thought it was going to get away Reporting. and return Enemy back contact. to its friends. But the, because uh, because my, one of my pilots had sensor lock, I was able to target it beyond my normal sensor range. So yeah, they uh, they had a bad day. This is my only issue with the exiting combat, re-entering combat mechanic. The um, the enemy mechs got a free turn. Which drives me crazy. Like I, I should have been able to, I should have been able to move, glitch and renegade and the mechs that didn't move that turn. Um, but because we exited combat, they got to go and then combat started and then they get to go again. It just, oh, it drives me crazy. What can drives I do me for you? Crazy. But whatever. Uh, yeah, it's gonna suck anyway. Well, that's all right. I'm going to advance. At least we'll have cover now. And we'll do precision strikes, so at least there's a somewhat decent chance those medium lasers will hit. All right, well, one of the one of the medium lasers hit that probably wouldn't have before. Waiting for orders. Yeah, we'll do that. What the hell? On my way. Oh, we're already halfway through the enemy units? <laughs> wow, is it really just a griffin and a panther? Engaging with target. Well, this is going to be really easy then. Shit, if I'd known that, I would have taken the money. Oh, well. Well, good. if it gives me a panther salvage and a uh, whatever salvage, what this will be worth it. The new Super Mario Age hit hack is pretty classy. <laughs> right? Yeah, all right. So that was easy enough. I mean, I could have played games with it and tried to take out its legs and whatnot, but oh, okay. Great. Yep, there are going to be... Uh... Okay, there are reinforcements. There are going to be reinforcements. They just haven't... The reinforcements just haven't landed yet. We'll do this and we'll brace. <laughs> we killed the opening lance too fast. So it didn't exit combat. That's funny. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. All right, well, cool. I'm okay with that. It's nice to fight the initial lance and then reinforcements separately instead of everything all at once. Or like when you're fighting the primary lance and the reinforcement lance are just like a bunch of catapults hitting you with like three different LRM 10, 15 volleys the entire frickin' time. Not that that's ever fucking happened. Oh, it's so fucking brutal when that happens. Oh my god, look at this bullshit. That is a ridiculous amount of fucking evasion. All right, how am I doing this? Ready for order. All right, you know what? Let's, uh... 
Let's see. What are my options? What are my realistic options? Man, that is terrible. Or if I just do precision strike, yeah, that's also pretty terrible. You have cover there. Let's see. Aye, aye. Yeah, 30%. That's all. That's pretty terrible. Hmm. You know, I could do a precision shot with this. At least then some of those LRM 10s would hit. I don't know if enough LRM 10s would do enough damage to really matter. I almost feel like I'm better off sensor locking whatever this is, hoping it doesn't have enough evasion and just going after that instead. Orders. Yeah, let's do that. Let's sensor lock the other things. We'll just avoid the locusts for now. Not wasting time. Yeah, that was the right. That was the right call. That was absolutely the right call. Standing by. I just have to figure out. There we go. Wow. Even that's not a great shot, though. Jesus. But all right, fine. Yeah, there was no shot there, but not no surprise there. No joy. That's fine. Waiting for now, water. though, however. Oh, I can't hit with glitch anyway. All right, fine. Take your pot shots. Tell me what to shoot. Yeah, I didn't think so. Don't stop. <laughs> that would be a miss. So let's, uh, let's advance here. And we'll try. We'll try and shoot the Jenner here. Yeah, no surprise there. Pretty much a hard sell anyway. That's all right. This round should be much better. Now I should have a much easier time with those lo locusts now that they're not going 100 miles an hour. And from the protection of high ground, which you do get a plus to hit if you have uh, high ground, so it's a little easier to hit. Oh, we've got something else out there. Light damage, holding firm. What else we've got out there? Hmm. I hear ya. I'd rather have that. Let's see. Here we go. Come on. There we go. Get some damage in. Oof. Ugh. There's our Jenner that we were shooting at before. Yeah, mostly misses. A couple of missiles hit, but nothing crazy. Hmm. Ow! Desk one, Seraph zero. <laughs> Receiving you. Uh, yeah, we'll just stay. We'll just stand and fight, and we'll focus on the locust. Locking on target. Come on, Behemoth. Thank you. Wow. That was a terrible shot. Reporting. Critical but now hit. it doesn't have any of that evasion left, so... We should have a much easier time now. Yeah! Yeah, there we go. Now this thing's fucked. All yep. Goodbye. Now the question is, do I go after that Jenner or do I go after the Locust? Yeah, let's go after this. 
Engage. Perfect. And that was the right decision. <laughs> One last target. That was absolutely the right decision. Okay. So clearly the computer's gonna try to just have the generous spot and the other sniper try and whittle me down. That's not a winning strategy. Receiving you. It's not gonna be a winning strategy, bro. Confirm. Some of these will hit. There we go. If I do enough stability damage to it, those evasion nice. pips will go away entirely. Yes, Commander. Do that. Yeah, it's still not great, but that's all right. Every little bit helps here. Wow. Okay, we'll definitely take the 45 over On the 35. Because even with it missing, it will still whittle down the evasion a little bit. We'll take it. No luck. I actually was hoping for a little bit better than that. That's Waiting right. on you, Commander. We can do that. I'm going to risk glitch going out into the uh, open terrain here. So I can still hit you. Well, maybe. Targeting enemy backside. Oh, well. But now I should hit you with LRMs as I advance. Ooh, I can actually... Oh, wow, I can hit you with more than I thought, although a lot of those are pretty terrible percentages. That's right. Something should hit here. Why bother? Nah. We'll save on the heat. But we'll fire the rest of that. Wasn't worth overheating. There we go. Yep, Panther. Shocker. Oh. Well, that was a lame hit. And of course, PPCs do scramble your sensors a little bit. That's unfortunate. Yep. So, uh, yeah, now we can put a hurting on this Jenner, and I right. intend to. Hi, cat. Hello, Cleo. Scored a critical hit. Hi, Cleo. Orders. Wow, I'm surprised I got to go here. So yeah, let's out. let's pile on the punishment to the Jenner here. There we go. Perfect. Now only the Panther Might stands alone. There. Good question. Um. So I, I do intend to play Cyberpunk 2077, although I am not thrilled with for you? some of the changes that uh, CD Projekt Red did for the DLC. Um, like they made the, the cops actually like really effective. They kind of turned it into GTA, which is not a cyberpunk game. Like if the cops are capable of doing their job, like what, did, what do they need you for? So clearly none of the writers thought of that. Roger that. Firing on kind target. of annoying. But, um, you know, whatever. Um, but prior to the Phantom Liberty update, that game was really fun. So I'm hoping to uh, have some fun with that again. Um, and play that. And my computer runs it pretty well, so there's that. Um, let's see, what other games? Um, nice. Yeah, crit that PPC. Make it harder to hit me. Um, but I definitely want to play a bunch of East games. Um, I don't think a lot of people have really seen, uh, those. And, um, like, for example, I, uh, brought a USB CD-ROM drive from work home. Um, and I'm going to test to see if Magic Engine, which is a TurboGrafx emulator, you can take the original CD games, pop it in an optical drive, and you can essentially use the emulator to play the real game 
Um, so I'm really hoping that I'll be able to play that. You. Um, that would be, that, at least I think that would be like really sweet. Um, now I don't know how likely that is, but um, Firing everything I've got. if not, I'll just find an emulator that I can and find emulated games and I'll just play that. Oh yeah, definitely. I definitely plan to play when some I retro stuff. You, um, like but at the very minimum, I'm, um, I'm either going to get a capture card for my home theater PC downstairs and connect my PS5 to that, or I'm going to just join the PS5 to, to um, or I'm just going to join the PS5 to, uh, to Twitch itself and just stream right from the PS5 and play East 8 and 9 from that directly. Commander. I'm just soften this guy up. At this point, we're just, it's Take open season. Shot. Yeah, this, this Panther is fucked now. Um, so I think those would be fun games to play. Um, yeah, the LRM-10 can't hit from that range. LRM-10 can't hit from that range. There we go. There's my optimum range. As the last one, Commander, let's dust off. Go home. So they probably paid me a bonus for destroying the uh, reinforcement lance. There's also Mech Warrior 5, which is a essentially a um like they actually put you in in an actual battle mech and it's not turn based and you're running around. Um and that game is not too bad. It's kind of like objectively it's a mid game, but for fans of BattleTech, I mean we'll, we'll take what we can get. Uh and that game is pretty fun. I would love to get an emulator and play Link to the Past. I would absolutely love that. I haven't played that in forever. Um, so yeah, I would really, really like to uh, to play some good old OG uh, Zelda Link to the Past. I think that would be a lot of fun. Uh, oh yeah, we'll definitely take the Griffin Salvage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but we could sell that Panther. We'll make some money off of that. There are some great Zelda randomizers. Actually, Freakbot's playing those. You should, um, uh, you should absolutely, and Hacks, yep. Uh, I highly recommend, he was, he was streaming one of those, uh, earlier today. I, I always recommend, uh, people to check those out. Um, so if you're looking for, for a streamer to play the randomizers, I would absolutely encourage you to check his stream out. Um, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of actually playing the randomizers, because for me, it's been so long since I've even played the game that, for me, I'm I'm looking for the nostalgia and actually go through and play the, the genuine experience. At least that's that's me. Um, but yeah, there's uh so Freakbot plays that, and um I think it's Diabetes beats the randomizer with Zelda mixed up with uh with Metroid 2. I think he beats it every weekend. Um, which is which is like superhero bullshit to me. <laughs> oh man. So let's see. Yeah, now we're going to clean out the mercs. And the good part is because we haven't been taking any appreciable damage. Yeah, we've got to take we we've got to go with that. We yeah, that's that's way more. That's that's definitely worth it. Uh we'll do mm, Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think we got to go with the better part of a more than half a million sea bills. Yeah, we got to go with that. Okay. And then we'll sell the panther we've got. We'll make some we'll make some serious uh scratch from that. And then by then we'll be pr we'll be pretty well warmed up and we can uh we could do our weldry run and get on with the campaign missions here. But yeah, I've seen I've seen a couple of really fun Zelda randomizers. Um uh, they're they're definitely out there. I tell you, man, I I give people a lot of credit for coming up with that and making that work. I can't even imagine what was involved uh, to make those come uh, come to life. All right, so we're facing professionals here. We should expect well-armed and disciplined opposition. Picked up comm signals from this region. region. Ah, and it already previewed what we got. Looks like we've got two crabs, a locust, and a uh, kentaro. That kentaro is going to be a problem. Um, so that's where we're going to have to start looking. Yeah, we're we're gonna try to kill the Kataro first. Absolutely. 
and they were about here. So our priority should be to get onto each side of this and get them in a crossfire. Um, I'm actually going to go up here. Yeah, we're going to send you up there. On my way. You're going to go up here. On my way. And you're going to go up here. Perfect. Yeah, that Kentaro. Granted, the Kentaro, it's a medium mech. It overheats like nobody's business. But it could do so much damage in such a short period of time. Uh, I think I want to be up here because I don't want this to be in my way. Let's see. Wow, we still don't have anybody showing up yet. That's fucking amazing. Um, I think we're going to advance this far. And be in, we're going to go nice and slow. I want to make sure that... Uh, I want to make sure that we've got maximum defense so that if they do go first and shoot at me, they're going to, they're doing very little damage. Vindicator, on the other hand, I want high ground. That's my sniper mech here. Perfect. Let's find out. All right. So there's this. No, we're not sprinting here. We're just going to advance. Nice and slow. Because we're going to have cover anyway, so really doesn't make a lot of sense to have evade. We're not building up a lot of evasion. So I'd rather I'd rather have the defense here. I read you, Commander. Moving out. They might just be sitting still. That would be kind of surprising. Here we go. Little by little, advancing with cover. I could advance that far. I think if I do, I'm just asking for trouble. So we'll just take a little bit more high ground. There we go. Surprised. Yep. It's this far and now almost guaranteed. Yep, there they are. Enemy, Enemy contact. Detected. There they are. Perfect. Yep. These guys will do next to no damage to me by firing first. Which I'm almost guarantee I would almost guarantee they're gonna do. I don't want them this high way. Yeah, we'll do that. Engaging jump jets. And let's see what these guys do first. Perfect. <laughs> Each of those missiles only did one point of damage. Is that it? I'm barely scratched. Yeah, I'm definitely reserving. I'm totally letting them go first here. Because I'm so entrenched, they're going to do next to no damage to me. And meanwhile, they're out in the road, open terrain. Very minimal evasion. I do like that the computer will take into account the pilot skill ratings. Like later on, the pilots will be much, at least in my in my sense, I get the sense that uh, the computer starts doing more intelligent things. The uh, higher rank the pilots are, they'll start taking cover. They'll they'll use terrain. Um, they'll do sensor locking. They'll do they'll use you know tactics to a point. Not to the point of a human player, obviously. Uh, human player, multiplayer is, is pretty nuts, but um, but they do at least act a little bit more intelligently. All right, so now... Good. This will do. Yep. Let's go after that locust first. This locust is going to die faster. And that's the Kentaro. That we're going to definitely need to deal with. Uh, or do I just focus fire on the crab? You know what? Yeah. Let's focus fire on that crab. Because the crab can do some damage to me too. And the locust is going to be hard to hit anyway. What's up, boss?
Yep. Heading out. That's our that's our winner winner chicken dinner. Fire. Start roughing Good up. To go. We'll start roughing up this uh this crab here. Plus the advantage here, if I miss here, it's probably gonna hit the crab behind it. Go. Good. We're starting to really fuck up that crab now. Yeah, no, I don't want to advance that far. Yep. Just one. Perfect. And fire. All weapons committed. Perfect. We're actually on the verge of knocking that crab over. Nothing like a straight up fight in a valley. All right. I think I'm going to fire and try to knock this guy over. All weapons or just destroy it outright. That works too. Enemy neck I, I didn't think I was just going to kill it outright, but that works. All right, now I think I'll go after the locust. I hear ya. Uh, all right, you know what? We're gonna do a little mixing and matching here. Do a little bit of repositioning. Perfect. We'll split our targets here. So those will be good hits. Perfect. Glitch will do a lot of damage. And I'll still shoot that thing and I'll at least do some damage to it. Better that than just missing entirely. Oh, that's not a Kentaro. That's a trebuchet. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, that trebuchet is going to be a problem. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Yeah, that trebuchet is going to be a... That, that is bad. All right. Fuck. And it's got cover. Shit. Yeah, the LRM, the two LRM 15s are definitely bad. I can't have that thing be shooting at me the whole time. Um, for orders. Oh, I could go ahead and attack you, but that's not necessary. Uh, all right, let's let's start advancing this way. On my way. Let's shoot the locust. Try and take that out of play. There we go. Good. At least it's gone. It's one less mech. Now it's four on two. Down. I definitely like the odds of four on two better. Uh, and you are definitely going to shoot at that trebuchet. For sure. The advantage of the PPC is it's going to scramble the trebuchet centers and it's going to hit less. Which I need it to do. Of course, it only matters if he hits with the PPC. Damn it, Medusa. You're not supposed to miss, bro. Yeah, Shadowhawk's taking a beating. Probably gonna have to jump. Major armor lock. Yeah, I'm gonna have to probably Standing jump by. back. And, uh... I think we're gonna jump back here a little bit. Let's have you withdraw. I'll have you fire at the crab. I'm not gonna waste the precise fire. shot yet. Oh, wow, you're missing all sources. Missing all over the place. Of course, my pilots still aren't necessarily the greatest. Good, yeah. Shoot at the unarmed, shoot at the unhurt thing so far. Good. Commander. Yeah, actually, I'm better off shooting from there. Yeah, return fire at the trebuchet. There we go. Sensors impaired. Plus the trebuchet is overheating anyway. It's going to get to a point where it can't uh, it can't sustain that level of fire. Let's move you over. And I think we're actually going to go after the crab because the crab's a little more damaged. It's not in as much cover. I can do more damage to it and it can hurt me. And it's not nearly as overheated.
So, uh, yeah, that's a no-brainer. Let's, uh, let's reposition here. Because in a second, the Centurion's going to be overheating and I'm going to want to close to melee. Perfect. Good. Perfect. We like critical hits. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yes, leave cover. That's even better. I don't know why the computer decided to do that, but I am very pleased with that. Receiving you. That is excellent. Fine. Yeah, we'll do that. Sure. Continue to move backwards. Let's sustain fire. Actually, yeah. Let's do that. Sure. Target acquired. Theoretically, I should have focused on the portion that was going to get destroyed, but... Inflicted some heavy damage. Yeah, now that thing has to cool off. That works for me. Waiting for orders. Still think I'm going to return fire with the Vindicator and the other three Attacking from the are going to be focusing on the other one. What can I do for you? Yep, her case. We are going to advance and do that while I cool uh -huh. off. Oh. There we go. Good. That was a nice deep hit. Perfect. How badly damaged is that mech? Ooh, we're getting close now. Actually, yeah, let's do it. I'm on the verge of overheating anyway. Engaging physical attack. Nah, that sucked. Unlucky damage location there. That's okay. Taking the shot. This crab is uh, taking a beating, man. <laughs> that hit something good. At some Waiting point, you, Commander. Let's do that. And let's try you and take out the crab. We'll do a nice little alpha strike now that we've cooled off. We'll go back to the cover. And yeah. All weapons are go. Yeah, I didn't think that crab was surviving that. Dang, you're dead. Standing by. Again. Roger that. I mean, I'm not going to get careless, but at this point, this mission's over. It's four on one now. It's it's over. Realistically, it's it's over. The trebuchet just doesn't have the firepower to overcome four against one. A trebuchet is really perfect when it can stand off at a distance and just unleash, you know, a hail of missiles. But it is a nice mech to have, especially at this stage of the game. That's a nice missile boat. I'd really like to have a trebuchet. If I got one, I wouldn't sell it. I would put it into service. Yes, Commander. Just shoot. Aye, aye. You stay back over there. Good to go. Perfect. Nice shot, Medusa. <laughs> nice straight up four on four fight. They were pretty good, though. All right. And Darius has signaled the employers that the operations are mission that their operations are safe now. But we like mission accomplished. So now we can actually sell the um, the panther we put together. 
we can check out the store, see what there is to buy around here. Unfortunately, Behemoth is now in the uh, med bay, but that's all right. Uh, we're not going to complete any, but we're definitely going to take the trebuchet salvage. Although I should take the crab salvage because there's a chance that it'll still give us another crab salvage. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Nope, but it gave us a locust because of course it did. Although it was nice to us last time, so I really shouldn't complain. All right, so we got our warm up missions out of the way. Now we can get ready to go to Weldry. I mean, we could go back to Herodotus and do a couple of more missions, but I mean, at this point, um, the uh, Weldry mission can be done with a spider and we've already upgraded that. So I think, I think we're okay. Um, we are going to, however, do some XP. Commander. Oh, right. We didn't actually Commander. have you do that. Uh, yes. Let's do sure footing. We'll do gunnery. Perfect. Yep. Training complete. Beautiful thing. What can I do for you? Yep, that looks good. Back warrior training. Ready for orders. Oh, yes. Perfect. Training confirmed, Commander. All right. Perfect. Okay. Training so complete. now our pilots are better. Let's, uh... Go to the mech bay because in order to sell a mech we have to send it down to storage so let's send this panther to storage we'll move that over spider and the blackjack there. that's a good reorganization uh let's go to the store and we're going to now sell uh oh yeah we could actually sell that locust too yeah let's sell the locust we're not going to put that into service okay so now we've got three and a half million seabills so I could buy a piece of an archer. I could also buy a piece of a victor. And in my experience, I can usually find archer and victor uh, mech parts. So those are usually, I mean, a Warhammer really is better than the other two. They, it really is. But I've gotten bit in previous playthroughs of this where, um, I've bought a Warhammer and then I can't complete it. And so I've dumped money into. All right, Phoenix, have a good one, man. Thanks for dropping by. Oh, we, we shall. We will have many, many happy battles. Um, so, yeah, the Warhammer is nice and it's better, but you get to a point where it's uh, it's hard to justify spending money on something and it taking, you know, half of a playthrough to be able to put one together finally. So that's what makes me nervous about that. But there are some nice things to be bought to be bought here. There's a medium pulse laser, ER small lasers. Um, there's some really nice, there's some really nice stuff to be bought here. Uh, unfortunately, no AC 10. Um, so yeah, there be, this becomes the question of, I mean, I could buy one of each. I could buy an archer and a victor salvage and just go from there. Uh, it is very likely I will be able to put together an archer and or a victor. So even though it's expensive, it's it's not gonna be money wasted. Whereas with a Marauder or a Warhammer, which are both so much better, um, it's just, it's really, really, really hard to justify. Um, yeah, that's, that's also hard to justify buying, uh, you know, lost tech like this when my money is this uh, in this short supply. So I'm going to buy the Archer Salvage because that's even easier to come by than uh, than the Victor Salvage. Um, but I do think, well, uh, oh, I don't have any, any trebuchet because we didn't take it. Um, but the nice part about the Victor is it does have jump jets. It's uh, especially early, early on. Um, yeah, if you try to get stuck, try to pry the enemy with a false one, right? <laughs> um... So yeah, I think I think we are just gonna try to buy this victor, even though with the way the initiative system works in this game, it's it's really not a great assault mech. Um, really, the way I interpret this is it's a more likely to be purchased heavy mech with poor initiative. Um, but when you phrase it that way, then it's then it's not so bad because um, especially when you're dealing with mostly medium mech, still having a nice heavy mech with a virtually um, with a virtually assured uh, path to getting it, it's uh, it's worth doing. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna buy this too. Uh, that puts us a little low on funds. Hello, cat. I know, Cleo. I love you too. Um. 
So at this point, yeah, we'll probably do Weldry and we'll we'll do that mission. Uh, cause at this point we could probably get away with uh with doing Weldry. Although could easily go to Lyriton uh and just see if we get some good missions. Um just to Oh, you got your toy, kitty kitty? Yes, you got your toy. Um now let's let's I think we'll do the travel contact now because we we're good enough at this point we can we can get away with that and I don't want to I don't want to bog down the playthrough with too much essentially grinding and farming so uh, we already went to one system we got our warm up done let's uh, let's go to first strike and uh, we're gonna do our first major operation against the directorate and we'll brief you fully when you arrive but prepare yourself commander after this drop we will be at war. Um, so yeah, we're going to do this. Course now, Commander. And one of the things the game doesn't tell you necessarily when you're playing this the first time, after you do the campaign missions, the difficulty of all of your missions rises. Which the game doesn't tell you the first time. So I did a couple of campaign missions and I was like, oh shit, the difficulty spike of this game is no joke. And uh, went to some earlier planets to try and do some easier missions and, and get some money back up. And no dice. I, I was just getting my shit wrecked. And I'm like, ah, okay. So, you know, from that I learned, don't race your way through the campaign missions. You definitely want to be doing uh, other missions as well, just to make sure you're still building up your pilot skill uh, base. You're getting better mechs slowly but surely. Um, and so there we go. Now, by the time we do the next campaign mission after this, I want to at least have an archer, if not an archer and a victor to help uh, move things along. So yeah, let's let's start with this. Yay, plot. Weldry, one of the most notorious hell holes in the Oregon Reach. Thanks, Alexander. Everything about this place is hostile to human life. And for the past three years, Espinoza has used it as a dumping ground for his political enemies. The Directorate has a prison complex on the planet's surface. The inmates call it the Icebox. The image of an imposing structure appears on your view screen. It has the solid, heavy walls that you've come to associate with Torian architecture. It's a holding facility for political prisoners, including high-value hostages, members of the founding families, spouses, sons, and daughters, such. If we liberate the prison and set them free, we break Espinosa's leverage over the founding houses, the political map will change overnight. We don't know what the Directorate has been doing to our people in there, but we have to set them free. Not just for political gain, but because they're our people. And we need your help to do it. Uh, alright, so. I need to know what I'm about to send my Lance into it. What makes Waldry so inhospitable? Everything, from sub-zero climate to inedible vegetation. The whole planet is infested with blood-sucking insects. The swarms can stretch for miles. You're shitting me. I'm afraid not. They're called Branson's mosquitoes. Imagine the colonial biting fly the size of your thumb. They serve as carriers for harmful bacteria. And you're dropping infantry there? On purpose? <laughs> Thank you, Yang. I couldn't have said it myself. And also in the tabletop game, not only do we deal with battle mechs and tanks and VTOLs, um, granted this game doesn't have too much in the way of VTOLs, but... Um, which VTOLs are just helicopters. Um, but yeah, you also have to deal with infantry uh, on, on the maps as well. And infantry can be really, really annoying. Uh, thankfully, we don't deal with infantry in this game. The army will be safe. Populated such centers like the Icebox use ultrasonics to keep the swarbs at bay. But I thank you for your concern, Mr. Verinten. Aren't the founding lords and ladies supposed to be powerless figureheads? There are different kinds of power, Renegade. The Fousing Houses may be anemic in terms of martial strength, but their words still carry weight in the Oregon Reach. If they rally behind us, the people who love them will follow. Governments have been toppled with less. My uncle's hardline supporters everywhere. The ranks have swelled in the absence of strong opposition, but the remaining members of the Founding Council will rally their people against the Director if given the chance. By freeing Weldry, we will give them that chance. You've got an army. What do you need us for? Good question. Subtle, decisive action. I will lead the army in an all-out assault on the Directorate's primary spaceport. 
After I've drawn their attention, you will sneak in, attack the icebox, and liberate it. We'll set my uncle's hostages free and put the founding house, uh, founding families in our debt, all in one fell swoop. Yeah, and some nice background here. Reminds me of supply raid I went on in the inner sphere. That was a good plan too, right up until we made contact with the enemy. I do understand what you're saying, Renegade, and the chaos of the battlefield is one of the major reasons why I need you on this drop. You and Mastiff improvised on Koromadir, and you got me through the coup alive. I'll be counting on you to use that same adapti adapti bleh, adapti adapti adaptability geez, Seraph, uh, on Waldry, should the need arise. I'll remain in radio contact with you after we hit the ground. Good hunting, Renegade. Give my uncle, uncle's troops the hell they've earned. After the Director of Presence on the planet has been crushed and the icebox have been liberated, we'll regroup to celebrate our victory. Just like that, we're going in. Um, do I send in Decker to get some experience? Um, actually, I like the idea of having the sensor lock, so we're going to keep that for now. Ah, let's deploy. And while the game loads, Seraph is going to get some water. But I will be... I will be right back. Oh, don't fall. Sure, pillow. Just fall. That's cool. It's not like I need you in the chair anyway. Much, much better. Game. Ugh. Oof. Hard to believe we're going to war against the Directorate. I don't know about you, Renegade, but from my perspective, it's long overdue. Make them pay from what they took from us. Make it hurt. <laughs> uh, good old XO. All right. Let's begin mission. Interface initiated. All right, now we get on with the plot. There are two entrances into the complex, Commander. Intel says that each is defended by a series of elevated turrets. I'm also seeing an LRM emplacement between the two checkpoints. Because, of course, there is. Battle mech defenses should be practically nil, as predicted. Lady Arano's preemptive strike has already drawn the prison's standard garrison away. I'm seeing heavy vehicles and turrets on my screen, nothing you can't handle. Clear away the opposition and capture the prison. Lady Arano and the Restoration Army will take care of the rest. Good hunting, Commander. So, yeah. All right. So, we've got this massive mountain and a couple of turret generators up here. Um, so we got a couple of choices here. We got a couple of turret generators in here, and pretty much we got turrets atop of each of these. Although in my experience, usually it's easier to go after the turrets. 
and then just deal with the remaining generators if you can. Um, so anyway, we are going to go, we're going to go this way. Since I took out the jump jets on the blackjack. I read you, Commander. Moving out. This has jump jets, though, so I'm going to have you jump up there. Roger. And same with the Vindicator. We're going to be jumping up. Oh. Hello, cat. What you doing, Cleo? I made the cat stir because I went into the uh, other room where she was. Gave her a nice pet. <laughs> Orders. My own fault. I didn't let sleeping cats lie. <laughs> That's all right. I'm gonna jump that. up with you. Yep, enemy contact. Yep. Jump up here. Lifting off. Now in a perfect world, I'd be able to just hang out up here, shoot these turret generators, and nothing would shoot back. But I don't think that's how this is going to work. Yeah, I'm better off having evasion and cover. Because there's going to be stuff up there to have to deal with. Enemy yep, vehicles. Let's do it. It's on. <laughs> yes, Commander. So that's 100. I don't think I'm going to be able to get through this that many, but we're going to try. Target confirmed. Perfect. Okay, cool. Rot it down, Commander. So at least we dealt with one turret already. Waiting for orders. Shoot that one. Firing on I don't think I'm going to get it. Okay. You can shoot. Really? It's too much movement. Fine. Let's just move back and we'll shoot that one with the LRM 10. And we'll finish it off with that. Damn, I missed it by nine. That sucks. That's okay. Good to go. Yeah, let's just advance and we'll guard. Because if we go out too far, there are all sorts of turrets and they'll just, they'll all just start shooting at you. So I'm going to try to manage what shoots at me little bit by bit and defeat the enemy in detail. This is the warden. We yeah, that's a problem. Intruder alert. All combat units prepare to repel hostile. Well, there that that sabotages that plan. They could sensor lock. So, let's advance. New plan. Shoot them as quickly as possible. I hear ya. Damn can't get close enough to uh I'm definitely not gonna leave cover so on you, Commander. we'll do that we'll just shoot that one on my way we'll do what we can here Special delivery. perfect okay good knocked out a vehicle Commander. Yeah, not great. Uh on my way. Let's see if we could kill this vehicle from up here. Scorpion. Engaging target. Almost.
Perfect. Good. Yes, Commander. Uh, yes, we'll just do that. Heading out. There are a couple of vehicles over there, but it's going to take them a little while to get over here. So it's okay. Meantime, oh, you missed with the fucking LRM, man. Thank you. Or PVC, that's all right. As long as it's destroyed, I don't care. We still have that vehicle over there. Although I could sensor lock it, but nobody else is even going, so fuck it. Um, well, since I can't go anyway, I may as well just advance and then guard. This part always gets a little dicey. I'm just trying to get through this while taking as little damage as possible. Because as you could probably guess, the real fight is up ahead. Yeah, that was more damage than I would have liked to have taken. But at least I was in cover. Yeah, they're really trying to go after the blackjack here. That's all right. The large lasers on the blackjack will allow me to keep it at a distance for a while. So many turrets. So many fucking turrets. All right. Yeah, let's try to smash that. For the most part, melee against vehicles. All right. Yeah, sure. Let's get some more plot. These prison gates on either side are going to be your best point of entry into the complex. Blow them down or make your way inside or jump the walls if your lance is capable of it. Your call. Perfect. And I smashed the vehicle. You like that? So at least that's destroyed and I'm still in cover. But now we got to destroy these turrets as soon as possible. Ugh. What's up, boss? Yeah, at least I'll have good evasion here. And in this case, it's actually easier to take out the turrets rather than the turret generator. But, um... Oh, we'll, see what happens here. we'll see what I prefer to do here. Am I better off just going after the bulldog? Hmm... Yeah, I'm probably better off just going after the vehicle here. These vehicles can really hurt us if I let them. Standing by. Jumping. Do that, and then I'll have Renegade try to take out a turret. Okay, good. That. <sighs> Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. And of course, the faster we take these things out, the less damage they could do to me over time. So it's really kind of important to take them out. Jeez, that's a bunch of AC2s. Uh, yeah, I'm better off trying to take this thing out first. Let's do it. Perfect, okay, good. Now the turrets get to go. Not good. I don't like how much damage they're doing to the blackjack already. I was actually trying by with this to get them to attack something other than uh, than the blackjack, but that didn't that did not uh, pan out. All right, let's go up here and let's at least remove this turret from play. All weapons Probably take out that turret. Yep. Target destroyed. Okay, good. Even better. Man, I'd rather be in cover. Roger that. And take out that.
that vehicle. Come on, buddy. Yes, good. Well, that's one less vehicle. Okay, so good to now. Go. On my way. Now we take out the turret generator. Got it. So we don't even have to go within range of the turret. Target destroyed. Standing by. All right. I guess this is as good as this is going to get. Fine. This for now. Brace. Probably sensor lock me, but there's only one of them now, so it doesn't really matter much. Commander? Yep, there's only one left. It's fine. Got it. And fire. Roger that. Uh, Medusa, shoot at it with the PPC. No more ammo Locked being expended. Target. Perfect. I could do this all day. <laughs> I'm sure you could. All right. So at this point, now we go over here. We're going to blow Commander. down the door. Jumping. When it says enemy detected, it means it detected the door. Out. Just run down. We've pretty much now cleared the outside of the uh, perimeter now. So we're we're good to go there now. Uh so at this point I'm not expending any ammo. Only gonna fire lasers at it. We uh, blow down the door. Now, if the entire lance had jump jets, we could just jump the walls. Waiting for order. But uh, we're not going to do that. I'm going to stay in cover, and the rest of the lance is going to advance beyond the black. Since that's the main mech that took damage. Actually, let's brace for now. I want the rest of the lance to catch Receiving. up here. Roger. Full. I don't want to blow down the door and have the rest of the lance out by the corner. Everybody else does need to catch up first. Those colors do look good. What do you need? And if I jump inside, that will also uh, Understood. advance fast. the uh, stage of the uh, map, and I don't want to do that prematurely either. Oh, uh, well, that's not what I was going for. Excellent work, Commander. The prison is ours. All director personnel to action stations. God damn it. This is not a drill. Looks like you've got more company. I'm seeing heat signatures coming online in the prison mech bay. The warden must have held a lance in reserve. What I was worried about. Sit tight, Commander. Lady Arano is aware of the situation. Reinforcements are on the way. And unfortunately, that actually doesn't do me any favors. Because if it weren't for that, I could just hang out. I could blow this door and hang out out here and turn this into a shooting gallery. But what's going to end up happening is Lady Arano is going to come in over here. And if I don't have a good firefight going on in here, she'll die and I'll fail the fucking mission. So even though it's kind of cool that she shows up and um, tries to help out, it's actually really inconvenient that she shows up because otherwise I would have so many more tactical options. Good to go. So it just, it, it really, it sucks. It sucks a lot. It sucks a lot. But there's nothing I can do about it. So, yeah, we'll just shoot the two medium lasers. It's open. It down, Commander. Oh, fuck. I just gave them a free turn. God damn it. I should have had my lance to move first. Yep. I gave them a free turn. Oh, no, don't come through already. No, uh, this is my fault. I don't know how I tripped. I must have had this mech come too close to the wall. 
Oh no, she's gonna get fucking wrecked. God damn it. No, don't come through now. God damn it, Kamei, I don't want you here this early. Hopefully they see me enough where they don't pay attention to her and they still try to come after me. Receiving you. God damn it, that sucks so bad. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna jump up here and be a fucking target, which is stupid. Which is very stupid. But if I don't, I'm totally fucked. Uh, and of course, I don't have the back shot, which I really should have, but oh well. Yeah, whatever. Well, at least I damaged that Jenner. Inflicted some heavy damage. Great, and now Kamea is going in way too early. Not great. This is not how I wanted this to go down. All right, well, at least they missed at that range, so that's helpful. Since it's glitches here, how far do I have to advance to get a shot in? Well, great. Oh, really? I can't shoot the fucking Jenner from here? You gotta be kidding me. God damn it. Really? Can't shoot the Jenner from here? That sucks so many. Urgh. Not. Not good. Moving to position. <sighs> so much for getting my lance in beforehand. But all right. Well, sure. Let's at least improve the odds that I hit. Affirmative. All right, well, at least I did damage. Hopefully I get the rest of my lance in here sooner than I hope. Well, so this is how this goes sideways. Yep, and now you're shooting at the blackjack, which I do not want. Uh, dang it, that hurt. All because Kamea has Waiting to show up. Yeah, I can't, I can't get in here. I just have to sprint. God damn it. You can't do anything. You're still out of position. Ugh. So normally I can get myself set up here, blow the door and make a very planned tactical entry. And then Kamea kind of shows up at the end of it. It's not this fucking bullshit chaos thing. Ugh. Oh my god, only 25% chance to hit that? You gotta be kidding me, and only a 40% chance to hit that? Fuck it, I'd rather just sprint and try to be in a better shot next time. Dear god. Yeah, that really sucked, man. Hit doing this shit. Yeah, that's my fault. I, I, I'm, I obviously went too close with the Vindicator. I thought if I were still outside the walls, that was good enough. I didn't realize that if I went too close to the wall, it would trigger all this shit. Damn it. Now I'm taking damage from the blackjack. Again, which I didn't want. If I had, if I had my wherewithal, I wouldn't have been anywhere near this shit. Wouldn't have been anywhere near this place. Good to go. Okay. What if I... Yeah, I can't, uh... I can't target the back of this Jenner, which is really what I want. That sucks that the, the Jenner has got its back to me, but I can't get a single good shot at it. Oh, there we go. It looks like I can do it this way. Yeah, man, that's that just sucks. That really, really, really stinks. All right, let's get to uh, move glitch back here. Well, the left torso, huh? All right, fine. Let's just advance and we'll point the fucking mech away. Maybe what I'll do is this. 
Affirmative. Just to point the damaged section away. Man, that's brutal. I'm right, fine. I'm not wasting that on that. Fine. We'll go with that. Firing on target. All right, one hit's not bad. And at least now I'm in cover. I mean, she's in a Kentaro. That thing will fuck them up. So at least we do have them in a nice crossfire. I just... I wish I had one more turn. <laughs> one more turn would have been yeah. really fucking lovely. Yeah, we'll shoot at the, J the Jager mech with the PPC. Because this at least will interfere with it, and that Jager mech can really fuck me up if I don't... if I ignore it. Copy that. So let's at least interrupt its sensors. Good. Perfect. That was worth it. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Shit. Damn it. Reporting structural damage. Yeah, I know. I know. I know glitch. I know. Trying. Trying to get in here. What I'm going to need to do is I'm just need to need to have her just totally back off. All right, so there's our trebuchet. Probably better off. Well. Yeah, better off shooting at the trebuchet. Yep, let's do it. Come on. Good to go. Perfect. All right, not great. But it's okay. something. We'll take it. There we go. <sighs> Come on. Damn it. Hang on. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Obviously wouldn't have happened if my original, if I'd been able to stick to my original plan of getting the rest of my lance up there. The game really fucked me over with that. Jesus Christ, Glitch is gonna be in the fucking med bay for a fucking year. God damn it. Uh, I should have done vigilance on her. I would have gone a turn, a turn sooner. And I would have been braced. I forgot about it. You can see daylight through my armor. Yeah, I know. I know. <sighs> All right. Ready for Let's, order. uh... Heading out. And of course, because she not fell over, her initiative is lower, too. So, of course, they all get to go. All right. Now we're fucking them up, though, back. Critical hit, Commander. But yeah, if, if Kamea wasn't going to show up, I could have just stayed outside and waited for them. But I didn't have that option because she'll just come up and she'll get her shit wrecked if I'm not around. I bargain, damn you! We can't let this prison fall! There we go. Now they're shooting at other things. Let's see. Shooting at the... Oh, yeah. We're going to shoot at the Jager mech here. Firing on target. Really? It's amazing how often I... my. It's amazing how often my pilots miss with uh, a PPC and how often the computer hits with a PPC. I do notice that. It drives me crazy. Whatever. All weapons committed. 
There we go. Now we're now we're really hitting back. Commander? We're gonna stand up. We're gonna get you the hell out of there. Back to standing. What's next? Wow, I really can't get very far, can I? Fine. I guess we'll take a parting shot on our way out. I can't sprint now anyway. Oh no! My mech is limping! Got it. She misses anyway. That would be a miss. But at least we got that trebuchet out of play. I was almost tempted to eject with glitch just just to save her for sure. Oof. No. Don't kill her. Please don't kill her. Oh, thank God. Fucking little bastard. Like that. I know, Glitch. I know. Waiting for orders. Yep. Continue to back up. We'll take one shot and then I will try to finish off the Jenner. Damn it. I had a 75% chance of hitting that. Ugh. No, Kamea, you should have stayed in the water. You shouldn't be separating, splitting your attacks there. You should have just gone after the Jenner. That was stupid. That's all right. Okay. Good to go. Yeah, that's the only problem with that. Let's see what happens. Perfect. There we go. Enemy down. Or, well, that's better. We're going to back up, go into optimum firing range. Let's hit with everything. Let's deal with this Jenner. Good. Less likely it goes after the, uh, less likely it even can target the Blackjack now. Good to go. Perfect. Yep. Attack the Centurion. I'm on it. There we go. Ah, oh, that was the right arm to correct. Our oh, it blew off the torso as well. Now that Centurion doesn't have an AC-10. Okay. Now I feel much more comfortable and in control of this battle. Yep, perfect. Yeah, shoot at the Centurion, please. Poor Glitch will be out of operation for a while, though. That's okay. Good to go. Yeah, we'll shoot you with a, with a laser just to see if I can Here do it. Go. Orders. Shoot you with that. Locked on. Perfect. Mission accomplished. That one's gone. All right, the prison is ours. Thanks for the assist, Lady Arano. Little does she know she was not helpful, but whatever. I'll have Sumiri bring us down for the victory celebration. There will be no celebrating, not after what I saw out there. Gods, Darius. The things the Directorate have do has done to these people. <laughs> Kamea, I need you to meet me in the prison hospital right now. What is it? Better that you see for yourself. And Kamea, prepare yourself. This isn't going to be easy. Mission successful. So, not my best outing at Weldry, but it went okay. At least I didn't lose a mech and I didn't lose a pilot. Yeah, injured 60 fucking days. Jesus Christ. That blackjack is going to be out of commission for a while, too. 
Uh, but I will take that. I'll take the Jaegermeck salvage. I will take the Trebuchet salvage. Of course, they didn't give me a fucking AC-10. Why would they give me an AC-10? It's not like I've been looking for that to complete my Centurion. Not that I'm bitter. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. That's all right. I'll have Darius switch in uh, in Glitch's place. This part's fucked up. By the time our forces found him, it was too late. I'm sorry, Kamea. He was here all this time. Rashu. Yep. Ah, uh, Kamea, I'm so sorry. I know how much Mastiff meant to you. He was a friend and mentor to us both. He was more than that. The old man was like a second father to me, and my uncle condemned him to waste away on this rock. To die, wretched and broken, in agony. A hero's story shouldn't end like this. Nobody's should. And yet, so many have. There's no coming back from what I've witnessed here today. The scale of the Directorate's cruelty is unimaginable. What they've done here is monstrous. It's inhuman. Our intel was wrong, Alexander. The icebox isn't a prison. It's a meat grinder. Gods, my own family is behind this. And what's left of mine has chosen to look the other way. It isn't an easy thing to wrap your head around, but try to remain focused. We just liberated the Directorate's hostages. With a single blow, you've shattered your uncle's hold on the founding houses. The prisoners you've set free are already calling you the Sword of Restoration. We need to spread this message all the way to Kormadir to galvanize their supporters and weaken Espinosa's popularity there. Galvanize your supporters. I like the sound of that. It won't be an easy process. For the last three years, those who love House Serrano have been keeping their heads down. We won't break them of that overnight. In truth, an appreciable percentage of Kormadir's population supports Director Espinosa. In centralizing power, he improved the quality of life on the throne world considerably and people will forgive a great deal for security and comfort. With our victory on Weldry, we've all seen what happened to those who would not be bought or indoctrinated, those who refused to kneel before a tyrant. We know that what became of the people who were made to disappear, and soon enough, the entire Reach will know it too. The momentum is on our side, Kamea. We need to take advantage of it. You're right. This isn't the time for hand-wringing, but Alexander, you didn't see what I saw out there on the other side of the battlefield, the work crews all hunched and broken, the graveyards, great fields of unmarked burial plots that stretched as far as the eye could see. Every time I blink, I see it, the misery that was allowed to fester here. And thanks to background Intersphere Mercenary, I could picture it well enough. I saw my share of gulags during my tour in the Inner Sphere. I'm sure you did, Renegade. The Directorate doesn't have a monopoly on cruelty, but before my uncle's coup, coup the Oregon Reach was better than this. This place is going to stay with these people for the rest of their lives. I'd do anything to be able to spare them that hurt, but I can't. Word of advice from an old veteran, Lady Arano? Focus on something you can do. Give us an order. Tell us to blow something up. Shit, use your imagination. The key is that you do something, and you move on. Thank you, Chief Vertinen. You have a good crew, Renegade. I have a new assignment for you, and a reward for your service. The Argo appears on our view screen. She's in rough shape, but she appears to be spaceworthy. For decades, the wreck site of the Argo was one of my father's most closely held secrets. When I sent you to retrieve her, I meant for her to serve a symbolic purpose, a sign of rebirth and renewal, emblazoned with the Arano Comorant for all to see. I was naive. This is a time for action, not symbols. 
And so, Renegade, I have decided that she will be yours to command. Yargo will serve as your new home, and she will fly your mercenary banner. Lord Madeira will act, will join you to act as my liaison. And in return, you will go stronger, sharper, more flexible. You will hone your company to a razor's edge, one that I will hold to the directorate's throat. In that case, congratulations. You've got yourself a navy. Bet settled, then please command. Go back to the triage tent and get your wounds looked at. The conditions here are beyond unsanitary, and you'll be of no use to anyone if you're dying of some exotic infection. Our people contend the wounded. We need you strong for the fight ahead. I will, Alexander, but not just yet. Assemble our people in the courtyard. There's something that I need to say. Speech time. People of the Oregon Reach, I am Kamea Arano. And I have failed you. For three long years, Director Espinosa has imprisoned and starved and murdered our people. And where was I? Hiding in a palace, light years away, building support, planning while the Directorate's secret police turned neighbor against neighbor, made your loved ones disappear, conscripted your children. I wasn't here. I didn't know. The crimes that I have witnessed here today are unforgivable. No doubt, Director Espinosa believes that the ends justify the means, that the Oregon Reach has been made strong. Well, I say that strength built on fear is brittle. The Directorate is a paper tiger. And I declare this restoration today to rally the true strength of our people, our resilience, and our freedom. Let Weldry be a call to arms. Join us, and together we will liberate the Founding Houses and retake Cormadir. Not because it is my birthright, but because the Directorate's crimes against you, the Oregon people, will no longer be tolerated. That is what I fight for, and I vow to fight for your freedoms to my dying breath. Hello again, my mercenary friends. Before you officially take possession of the Argo, I wanted to introduce myself in person. We never really got a chance to meet properly on Axelus. So, uh, hi, I'm Dr. Farah, uh, Farah Murad, or just Farah, if you prefer. It's me, it's nice to meet all of you face to face. Yeah, Doc, you too. I'm gonna call you Doc, by the way. You should probably go ahead and get used to it. It was impressive work you did getting the Argo flying. Between you and me, I had my doubts. Honestly, I did too. You should have seen what the Argo's interior looked like after a couple hundred years of pirate occupation. Actually, I take that back. If you seen what I saw, you would never have wanted to set foot inside. Take it from me, the ship has been deloused from bow to stern, and every meter of her has been hosed down with industrial grade disinfectant. The ship is clean enough to eat off of. I swear it. Clean is good. Space worthy is better. You sure the Argo is ready for action? Oh, absolutely. I mean, she's here, isn't she? All the way from Lyriton, with nary a decompression event in sight. Don't worry, Commander, I wouldn't endanger my new crewmates by putting them on an unsafe ship. I've got professional standards to maintain. <laughs> Hear that, Yang? We're finally getting a shipboard engineer. <laughs> That's good, because I don't have a clue of anything on this boat works. Frankly, I'm amazed that Doc Maraud managed to get her flying at all. I'm still a little amazed myself. Only a little, because I'm very good at what I do. And humble, obviously. But it was kind of touch and go there for a while. Oh, and Darius, I'm sorry about all the shouting back on Axelus. As it turns out, getting shot at by pirates puts me on edge. <gasps> no hard feelings? No, no, keep this piece flying and you can yell at me as much as you want. Hell, I'm used to it. Welcome to the family. You too, Lord Madeira. I never imagined we'd be working together. But I'm glad to have the opportunity. As am I, Mr. Uh... Why am I struggling with his name there at this point? Olivia, uh, Olivera, uh, Olivera. Uh, over the years of our exile, Lady Arano told me a great deal about you and your com uh, company. All of it good. 
Even before the events of the coup, she knew about Markham's marauders. Your assistance in her father's Falgir campaign did not go unnoticed. It was a job, Lord Madeira. We only did what High Lord Tamati paid us to do. Still, it feels good to be appreciated. And to know that someone out there still remembers Commander Markham's name. You'll be a welcome addition aboard the Argo, uh, Lord Madeira. Thank you, Commander. Speaking of which, you'll have some time to break your new ship in before Lady Arano is made to move on to Panzer. She needs to consolidate our forces on Weldry and replace our losses with fresh volunteers. You remember her orders. You are to sharpen your company and grow strong. And now you have a mobile command center worthy of the title. I suggest that you use it. I'll get you a fresh batch of contracts to look over, Marcus. The whole Rimworld periphery is our oyster now. We won't be limited by debts or travel restrictions. Exciting times, I've got to say. We better put that freedom to good use. It won't be long before Lady Urano comes calling. No, it won't. So let's quit talking and go explore our new ship. There's absolutely enormous mech bay in there. And it's got my name written all over it. <laughs> yeah, that mech bay is much better than the leopards. Damn right it does, Yang. You all heard him. Take your stations, everyone. We're free agents till Lady Arano calls for us, and there's money to be made. And so at this point, uh, uh, Dr. Murad pretty much telling us Dargo is uh, not in good shape. But with time, money, and some of Chief Vertinen's technical resources, we can address most of the major problems. Maybe even make this place nice again. It'll be an engineering if, uh, I'll be an engineering if you want to know more. Lady Arano said she wanted us to get stronger with these mech facilities. We finally have the resources to do that. Bring me scrapped mech from missions and shops and I'll rebuild them into fighting machines. And remember, boss, when it comes to mechs, bigger is usually better. And there's probably one more. Oh, yep. Yeah, we need repairs. I know. I know. In particular, the, the blackjack. The blackjack really got fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Repair, repair, repair. Oh my god, this poor thing just got its ass kicked. Right, medium laser. So we replaced that. Uh, we lost a couple of heat sinks, so let's replace the heat sinks. Probably over here. Yep, alright. That's everything, right? Yep, that's everything. It's going to take 22, da 22 days and the better part of 200,000 200, Seavils to repla repair. But we did just make over a million Seavils on that mission. So we still made some good money, even though we got really fucked up there. But that's alright. Uh, we should be good to go. I don't see anything. Okay, good. Yeah, okay. Confirm. Right. On it. So that'll work. I'll let you know when that's done. Let's go to the store. Let's see if there's an AC-10 that can be bought. Uh, ooh, okay. Yes. Let's buy... Yep, this is why I wanted to buy Archer Salvage. New equipment available. Let's send the spider down. Oh, uh... We'll send the spider down. We'll sell the spider. I'd rather have the money for that spider. Yep. Actually, selling the spider pretty much paid for the repair on uh, on that. Perfect. New equipment available. Good. All right. So we got ourselves a missile boat, and it's also our heaviest mech. But um, but yeah, this is nice. Okay, so we're gonna refit this already. Because in my experience, medium lasers, they just overheat too fast. So I'd rather have rather have a heat sink and a heat sink. I'd rather be able to vent heat faster. Alright, so we've got our missile boat. Right. Good. I'll get it in the sky. Alright. Let's see if there are any contracts to do. We actually do have a decent number of contracts we could do here. Um it's just, it's a hard pill to swallow. Uh, let's, let's take a look. Manage tasks. If I advance the archer, we could get the, it could wait two days. Have the archer, and we could stay in system and do a bunch of these contracts. Um, but we're not taking the mission against pirates. Who is this against? Torian Concordat. So that's always not necessarily a bad one. Um, this sometimes can be fun, but these missions are really hard. So what these missions are is you go in, um, with, uh, with one experienced mech warrior and one of your mechs and then three complete amateurs. And 
at least one of the amateurs has to survive, but the amateurs are fucking terrible. There's a reason why this pays a lot. This mission is actually fairly difficult to do at this level. Oh, uh, let's also take a look at, um, we need to raise our experience. Let's do that. All right. Well, there's that. Orders? Receiving you. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Training complete. Yes, Commander. Um. Yeah, we'll work our way. Ooh, yeah, call shot bonus. Thank God. Complete. That actually makes it worth doing. Um. Perfect. We're working our way along. Okay. So let's also go to ship upgrades. So we definitely want to do the power system. We'll do that first. Sure thing. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. There's a lot of things that require real upgrading, require a power system upgrade. Um, yeah, I want to start doing that too, but that's fairly expensive. I don't want to be doing that yet. All right, so now the decision. Do we leave? And I could talk to all these people, but as you can already see, oops. I zoomed out, I zoomed in, and then it won't let me zoom out now. Um, as you can see, the Iran restoration has begun, so the civil war here is well underway, and we've liberated three systems. So we actually could go to three different star systems in Arano space that's now friendly to us, that's uh, loyal to Lady Arano, but there's still a hell of a campaign to go before the entire directorate is toppled. Uh, we do have a travel contact to Kimi that will pay for the travel if we want to go back here. Let's see what that travel contract is. That might be... Oh, well, we're not doing that mission. I'm certainly not going to take a mission against pirates. So I think what we'll do is, since we're waiting for Glitch to heal and we are, we are waiting for a couple of mechs to get repaired, I am inclined to think, rather than do that, I'm thinking let's... Let's, let's travel and let's get back up and running. We'll go to Herodotus. That's 22 days. For the most part, that should get the blackjack repaired and the archer up and running. And we can take a look and see what's going on there. Maybe we'll do some missions here. Yeah, it'll pay. It'll cost us 30,000 to go there, but it's worth it. I think we'll do one mission with these. Got a new and we'll probably call it a night. I'm not, I'm not thinking I'll stream. I'm not thinking I'll stream too late tonight. Um, my neck's already starting to get a little sore. Um, so I'm thinking tonight's not going to be a, uh, a terribly Upgrade late stream. Or hmm. online, Commander. Well, let's take a look. Uh, so yeah, one of, the, one of the mechanics of the game is we can upgrade the Argo. Uh, so we can also upgrade the mech bays and get an additional mech bay. Um, but that's outrageously expensive at this stage of the game. Uh, automation's really expensive. Uh, the refit harness isn't too bad. And the repair scaffolding isn't too bad. Uh, actually, the training module is not too shabby. We're going to go with that. So that's that not expensive to put in. Moving. And essentially what this will do is when I have uh, mech warriors that are under a certain training level, they could use the training module and they'll just get XP as days go by. Which this stage of the game is nice. So yeah, now we have our Argo and we can go, uh, we can certainly go places. But as you can see, the ribs are showing. There's, <laughs> there's still a lot to do with this. So passing by the mech bay, you spot Medusa wrestling a medical monitor from a, from a med tech. What the fuck is this? You need to take a second look. Medusa presses a hand against his stomach and winces. I know something's wrong. I feel like I'm dying. You pause in the doorway. What's going on here? Medusa relinquishes the monitor and the med tech clears her throat. Medusa's complaints of abdominal pain are purely neurological. Phantom pain, Commander. There's nothing to treat. We've checked. Please, Commander, I'm not making this up. Medusa takes a deep breath. If you authorize an exploratory surgery or other examination, I know the medtechs will find something. Every time I've done this, they've never found anything. Ever. But I feel like if I ignore it, the morale will go down. So, um, yeah, we're going to do the exploratory surgery in Medusa. He'll be out a week, but we're traveling anyway. Uh, oh, that's totally different. All right, you know your body, Medusa. You jab a finger at the medtech, perform exploratory surgery immediately. I want answers. Hours later, you find Medusa in the medbay. The medtechs 
Uh, let me keep a souvenir. Turns out this thing was hiding behind my liver. Holy shit, this is a different outcome for this. Sitting up in bed, he holds up a jar with a fist-sized lump of flesh floating inside. You examine it with a misc of mix of curiosity and disgust. There's no way to go out, Mech Warrior. That's no way to go out, Mech Warrior. Thanks to you, I'll live to fight another day. The med techs say I'm cleared for combat once the painkillers wear off. Medusa smiles, then turns serious for a moment. You saved my life. I won't forget that. I owe you, Commander. Ah, and so he's gained the following tags dependable. I don't know what the fuck that means, but let's take a look. Take a look. Mech Warriors. Take a look. Medusa. So when they're talking about tags and all that, we can go in the service record and we see the number of deployments, mech kills, days with the company. And here are the t various attributes they have. So he's gained dependable among all of these. Uh, for the most part, these really don't seem to impact the game much from what I set, what I gather. But every so often a random event will come up. And if there's a tag like technician, you'll have an option to then have a different resolution. So for example, Waiting if you go over to, oh, right. Uh, I totally forgot to upgrade glitch here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna upgrade her gunnery for sure. But, Training uh, confirmed. We'll that. But if we go over, yeah, she's got a couple. Yeah, she gained criminal, I think, from one of the uh, one of the uh, events. But uh, <laughs> yeah, good old uh, Jessica Chernovskaya. Uh, she's actually one of my favorite NPC mech warriors. She's got a lot of really just funny dialogue. Um, of the mech warriors that are initial job, she's probably my favorite. But yeah, we could do a bunch of ship upgrades once we get money for it. There's that. Okay, so we're upgrading the training module. And once that happens, then our mech warriors will gain XP just for passing time, which is nice. And a lot of the game is wandering back and forth and really exploring a lot of different places and whatnot. That's okay. Of course... A lot of that's also random. There's nothing better than going to a planet and then finding out complete, there's uh, work, really say. nothing to do there. Well, so we'll have to wait two days for the blackjack to get repaired. Unless there are no jobs, in which case, yeah, we'll go to Kimi and see what's there. Looks like we've arrived, Commander. Yeah, let's continue. Because our money situation isn't great. Uh, but let's take a look at contracts. Good. All right. So we got we got some good uh, options here. Um, what is this going to be? Advance. Oh, it's against local pirate organization. Really don't want to take missions against the pirates. But I suppose we could take one as long as we don't dip below disliked. I guess would be okay. But I would like to get pirate missions. Um, and this one's going to be against the magistrate. Shit. There we go. I'd much rather do local government uh, rather than these so we could build up supply with this. So uh, pirate leader. Yeah, I'd really rather not. Okay, so we got two against the local government. So why don't we do these first? Yeah, we'll do these first. All right, so let's wait two days. I Perfect. That job you asked for, Commander. All right, now we'll do we'll do a mission. We'll do at least one. Uh, we'll do this one first, and then we'll see if we, if I have it in me to do more. Wow, that's really shitty money-wise. But all right, let's do this. We'll have Decker, we'll have Decker come in. Yeah, we'll have Behemoth come in for the Blackjack. She's got better gunnery. She'll hit more often. Um, we definitely want the Archer to go in. <laughs> Because uh, there's no reason to go in with a Vindicator unless we don't have to. But the Vindicator will be good uh, <laughs> to... <laughs> yeah, no, we're not we're not going in with that Vindicator instead of an Archer. That Archer is definitely going in. Um, and yeah, that's, that's going to make uh, our lives much happier uh, than dealing with the Vindicator. Uh, so yeah, let's deploy this. And uh, we'll do a nice, we'll do a nice mission. And we'll get a chance to do a, do a mission with the Archer first. And then we'll see if uh, a Victor salvage is on sale. Shouldn't be, be any surprises here, Commander. The target is expecting a pickup, so she'll be aboard in a matter of moments. The data might be tougher, but it's your fair call if you want to go after it. We'll pretty much see how the battle's shaping up. 
um, to see how if we if we do it or not. Command how was your uh, public sub, uh, Freakbot? And what did you end up getting? I'm curious. We're coming up on the target facility, Commander. There it is. Move up, secure the location, and pick up the agent. Get her to the evac zone and get the hell out of here. And of course, the supply is going to be in there. Good luck, Commander. Oliveira out. No, I didn't have any problems saying at that time. Uh, all right. So, all right. I think we're going to go this way. There's almost assuredly going to be mechs here. But if we're over here, at least if they can spot us, we'll only be subject to indirect fire. So we're going to go around this uh, this mountain here and hope for the best. Coordinates received. On my way. Uh Dance. Got it. Yeah, sure. Got it. We've got an unknown on sensors. Yep. That didn't take all that long. Let's see what they do. Oh, uh, yeah, let's reserve. Let's see what they do. Oh, Wolverine. It's a pretty nasty mech. Wolverines are medium mechs, but they can they can hit pretty hard. felt like an LRM-5, not necessarily an LRM-10. That's an LRM-10. Nope, that's still an LRM-5. Light damage, Commander. All right, that's not too bad. Waiting for orders. Uh, yeah, let's, uh... Wow, really? All right, let's, uh... Commander? Sure. Yeah, whatever. Uh, or... Not great. But at least we'll be a little less out of... Eh. Nah, let's just shoot with that and see what happens. Acknowledged. Not great. You're just whittling away that. I'm not really worried about that. I'll keep the SRMs. Whatever. Oh, we got a bunch up here. We got a party. <laughs> Negative damage. And then we got two mechs over there. Great. That's a Jager mech. Damage is light. Well, it could be a blackjack, actually. What's up, boss? Not great. Aye, aye. Let's, let's keep doing this. Let's fight these guys. The problem is... In order to fight the uh, mechs over on the island, I'd have to split up my forces or really commit to it. So unfortunately, we're just going to be subject to a lot of missile fire for a bit. I don't really see a good... I don't really see a good option at the moment to dealing with that. Let's try and take these guys out as soon as possible. Now, I should have fired that one first. Oh, well. But at least we could start softening up this Wolverine. There we go. Confirmed. Yeah, let's make this guy's life difficult. <laughs> yeah. His life sucks. Oh my god, a fucking SRM carrier. Shit. Fuck, I hate SRM carriers. Oh my god, that's awful. Took a hard hit there. Yeah, I know, Decker. I know. Don't worry, it's never gonna do it again. God damn it. Yeah, that's an LRM 10. 
That drives me crazy when you've got mechs off screen that have missiles. They can just fire at you all day long. Really sucks. Come on, let me go. Damage is minor, Commander. This is where vigilance really comes in go. handy. Um... Confirmed. Gonna go out here. And we're gonna do vigilance. Because that's gonna wipe out all that stability damage. And we're gonna fire at this asshole. Confirmed. Hopefully we're gonna knock him down. Well, it was a nice attempt anyway. I would have liked to have gone with the archer first. But there was no way to do that without leaving Decker exposed there. I had to move him. Waiting for orders. <sighs> Not how I really wanted to do this, but oh well. Fuck, and now I can't even target the SRM carrier. I hate those SRM carriers with such a passion. Terrible. I guess I already went. I can reserve and see. Well, that's not too bad. I guess this works, but shit, not how I wanted to do this. Commander. Well, I guess this is how we're doing this. Fine. At least the archer is well armored. Fire. I'm on it. There we go. <laughs> Damn it. Systems holding. I hate that they're just out there just shooting at me and I really can't fire back. Until I deal with all this shit. Yeah, if I had to do this mission over again, I would have gone after the small island first. Yeah, fuck him up. Uh, if I had to do this over again, knowing how this panned out, what I should have done is gone over this way and engaged these two first and then come around to deal with all these assholes. But, I mean, I thought I could go get this first and I thought this mountainous terrain would stop a lot of that bullshit. It just didn't. But at least I'll get to knock over this asshole. There we go. At least we killed a mech. Fuck. Hey, Nade. Yeah, hindsight and all that. Receiving you. All right. Well, I definitely don't want to be. Well, all right. So if I go here, I definitely want to try to be able to take out the SRM carrier. But Jesus Christ, this is going to suck. All right. Well, at least if I'm up here, I've got a decent amount of evasion. Yeah, I really am not a big fan of the this and I've already gotten really softened up. So the last thing I want to do is really engage a lot with this. So no. Yes, Commander. Yeah, move. God damn it. No. Ready for orders. Decker, what are you doing? What is what is this game doing? Waiting for orders. Thank you. All right, well, I could go over here and just shoot the enforcer. Probably should. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. At least I'll be in cover. 
It's something. <laughs> Wait, wrong game. <laughs> yeah. I absolutely hate the fact that these guys just get to go open season on me. And I really don't get to fire back at them. It just sucks. But at least they're advancing, so next I've time they'll be... Locked. They're going to start advancing over the water. And I will take advantage of them when they do that. Oh, really? Let's do that. I guess we'll do that. Do this. Well, you know what? Let's, Ready for orders. Let's do this. Uh, yeah, let's just advance and we'll start shooting that. Even though I'm only doing half damage. But damage is damage. It is what it is. I'm under heavy fire. Yeah, I know. The problem is going to be when uh, the fucking SRM carrier gets a chance to go. That's going to really suck. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, fire. Fuck it. All weapons committed. That SRM carrier is what really scares the shit out of me. That thing could do so much damage. I've been sensor locked. Yeah. Speaking of fuck him up. <laughs> there we go. Of course, they keep shooting at the fucking archer. Oh, they don't like me at all. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I hate this SRM carrier so much. God damn it. Hit meat. I hate that thing. Ugh. I was hoping I would get a chance to shoot shoot it and kill it before it could fire again. No such luck, obviously. I'm losing lots of armor. So this was obviously not the way to handle this mission. Because what you don't want is six against four for a prolonged armor period of time like this off. has been. Well, Five against four. God damn it. Commander. So obviously, we... I don't even give a shit at this point. The SRM aye, aye. carrier has to die. So we're going to do vigilance. And yeah, we're, we're going to kill the ever-living fuck out of this thing. There we go. Reporting. One less vehicle. I'm gonna have to start withdrawing my archer too. It's starting to take a lot of damage. Uh, took a hard hit there. Orders? Hating all the damage I'm taking, man. This really, really sucks. And a spore cloud is like f totally fucking me over. Acknowledged. Fucking thing. Finally. Whatever. Goddamn javelins. Fine. Roger that. Really, and you miss anyway? Fucking Decker. Warning. Armor low. Yeah, yeah, I know. <sighs> this really sucks.
Yeah, even with the percentages being what they are. All right, well, at least I hit it with more than I thought I would. This sucks. All right, fine. You know what? This being the case, fine. This is not how I had originally planned to do this, but fine. Let's at least take out this fucking javelin or at least really fuck it up. I've had quite enough of you motherfuckers. That's got to be a fucking Jager mech. Receiving you. Question is, if I do that, I think I can even go and do that. But whatever. All right. So you know what? Location that. confirmed. Agent's on her way out. And let's try and kill this fucker by shooting this piece of shit in the back. There we go. Target's taking a critical hit. Yeah, yeah. Where are you damaged? I think they I might just have to armor. pull you back. All right, you're taking damage on the right side, so you're going to go a little like this. Jesus, really? Fuck, I don't want to show the back to you, but shit, man. Uh, all right, you know what? Let's do that. This? That's going to be like that anyway, so you know what? Let's just do that. And hope that that ridge Move is orders. enough to interfere with the direct fire. I don't think it is, but we're going to try. So the right side's what's damaged, right? Yep. So hopefully that obscures most of that. A little bit helps. Yeah. Damn it, man. Damn it! This completely fucks everything I'd planned to do in this entire star system. You assholes. <sighs> Alright, where's my evac zone? Where is the evac zone? Here's the target zone. Where the fuck is the evac zone? I think I have to go further out. whole thing is turning into a goddamn disaster. All weapons sure, just missed. It's not like I'm in trouble or anything and really need all my... You know, every hit matters or anything. That didn't fall over? Come on! <laughs> Let me out of here! Shit. Damn it! All right, I'm getting way too fucked up here. Why is it not recovering this? What do you need? I want to withdraw, but at least if I get that objective, I could withdraw and have a good faith withdrawal. I hate withdrawing, but this 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 went sideways. I couldn't kill these mechs fast enough, and that SRM carrier got too many shots on me. It sucks. Now I knock it over. Yeah, it's it's too little too late there, buddy. It's too little too late. And the enemy had too good 
the enemy had all sorts of long range mechs over there and they just they just fucking sh fucked me up the whole time this pretty much went as badly as i could have as badly for me as i could have scripted it but the beginning of this game is the harder part of the game all right yeah it's it's too late we're not going to be able to make it to the evac zone. They're they're going to destroy me before I get the there. Is taking damage, Commander. Because we 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 just go too slow. They're they're going to destroy me before I get to that evac zone. So at this point, I'm going to withdraw. Uh, you gave it your best. Yeah, we're we're going to withdraw. No way to salvage this. Because we're we're the amount of damage we would take at that point, we would get completely fucked. So we failed that mission. It was bad, but we at least got a good faith effort. But we get a shitty payout but um but unfortunately yeah medusa's injured medusa behemoth got injured and uh yeah it was just it was it was bad it was just it was bad that was uh that was shitty luck and now our, our repair bills are going to completely suck but if we kept going we probably would have lost a mech we may have lost a pilot it's just um I fucked up going the route I did. I should have gone right, but there was no way to know that they were going to be, you know, there was no way to know they were going to they were gonna have a long range Jager mech over there. Um, yeah, unfortunately, you don't get a real good opportunity to do refits. So yeah, repair all. Uh, I need to replace the large laser. All right, so this is only 50,000, not terrible. Not great, but it's not terrible. The archer, on the, on the other hand, I think I might be fucked because I don't think I've got an LRM-20 to replace it with. I'm going to have to replace it with an LRM-15. Really sucks. I just got this archer. God damn it. Is there an LRM-20 to be bought, to be bought in the store? Well, I could. All right, so three hundred thousand. Yeah, we're gonna have to buy it. New weapon systems. We're gonna have to buy it. Unfortunately, it's, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. The cost of fucking up. The cost of fucking up. That was a very painful, expensive mistake. Oops. We're still in. Where am I out? Oh, a heat sink. Probably in here. We could put the heat sink in there this time. Oh, that sucks. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. But all right. Not, but it's not a camp, but it wasn't a camp. The purpose of withdrawing there is, uh, yeah, right. Honestly, so in like three or four playthroughs, that's probably the worst I've had a mission go. Uh, I've had entire playthroughs where I haven't withdrawn from a single mission. Um, so that was, that was pretty much the worst case scenario. But sometimes you have to make a financial decision of it didn't make sense to risk the two or three turns it would take sprinting and not firing back while you've got, it was what, at least four, probably five enemy mechs firing at your four very damaged mechs, probably doing more damage um, over rough terrain forested terrain uh I, I probably you know the amount of money you would have gotten i would have gotten back from that mission they probably would have paid me 200 300 thousand as it was and the repair bills already cost me i went from 1 million to 200 to 800 thousand sea bills after all those repairs were said and done if i had tried to do that mission i think i would have taken much more than 200 thousand sea bills worth of damage which would have offset the payout and I probably would have gotten a couple of pilots killed. So yeah, wasn't, wasn't worth doing. Um, unfortunately it just, it just sucks. So I got an option. I could stay here and I've got pilots out of action for 28 days and it's going to take me 30 days to get my mechs repaired. Um, but I'm probably better off traveling to a different star system. And I may as well take my time going to it. So a system like Alloway takes me, it'll take me 30 days. It's going to, you know, cost some, but the missions there might be a little easier than what I'm dealing with here in Herodotus or, uh, or Kimi. And I could try to make some of my money back. 
Um, so at this point, I'm probably better off going to Alloway. Uh, or is there another Liu's memory? Ardrar? Nope, that's that's probably going to be harder. I probably don't want to be doing that at the moment. Um, Arn, let's see. A couple of interesting factions. But this is a good opportunity to kind of explore something while we lick our wounds and try not to have a, a mission go sideways like that. Um, quarantine to an incurable disfiguring viral plague. Oh my god. Uh, pirate presence, black market, token population. Yeah, this looks like it would be fun to go to. Um, but Alloway would be cheaper to go to, and I think I'm going to have better missions here. So, yeah, we're going to we're going to travel to Alloway and hope for some better luck. Um, hey, Pokey. So, um, so yeah, that uh, that mission didn't go great. That that mission went fucking terrible. Um, but yeah, one of the interesting things about this is um, oh, we got a we got a temporary we got a random event here. Yang arrives at the morning meeting in a foul mood. Yeah, I wonder why you're in a foul mood. Commander, if one more pilot shows up to complain their favorite mech isn't ready, I'm going to pitch someone at an airlock. Darius intervenes. How about we draft some of them to actually help? It might be educational for them and useful for you. Dr. Murata has been deep in thought. The Argo has some very powerful systems that are currently offline. If we could get them working, even if only temporarily, it might help with the current lurker. Ah, okay, so... We could temporarily hook up the automation systems, or we could temporarily hook up the refit harnesses. Yeah, let's temporarily hook up, hook up the automation systems. Oh, nice. Yang's more excited about Dr. Moran's assistance than babysitting some reluctantly drafted mech jockeys. Later that week, Farah checks in on with an update. Commander, these Starly Gera systems are amazing, but challenging. Your automation system is partially online now, maybe for a month. Checking some calculations on her ubiquitous data pad, she arches an eyebrow. If we could spare the sea bills, I'd like to spend the time to make this improvement permanent. The work on the power conduits was all the prep we needed to do. I'm ready when you are. The company attains a plus two tech point boost for 30 days. Good. Means now everything's going to be back up and running in 20 days. So that's great. Hey, Kara, what's going on, buddy? Spare the these nuts bills. <laughs> yeah, you just you just missed us getting our ass kicked. Uh, Well, me. You missed me getting my ass kicked. Um... So yeah, sometimes you just get unlucky when um, when you've got reinforcements that have long-ranged weapons and, and they just hammer you uh, during the entire mission. The financial um, so normally, if I could figure, you know, if I could, normally the way I route it is uh, if you pick wisely, which in this case was going right. Just got home from a gig. Sorry I missed everyone streaming today. Eh, all good. Hope the gig went well. Uh, we'll be checking uh, Kara's band out uh, when you when you guys play next. The Dragon D's. <laughs> no worries, Monsieur. Um, so anyway, yeah, now we're getting down to some low money here. Uh, we're not critically low, but we definitely are going to need to get make some sea bills here. Um, oh, God. Why, thank you, Nade. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, but it's all right. We survived. None of my pilots died. We're nearly um, crazy, Commander. Yeah, I know, Darius. I know. We're low. We need to make some money. I know. Trust me. I know. <laughs> uh, but we're going to get our pilots out of the med bay. Um, <laughs> got him. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, we're probably going to arrive in system and then uh, we'll check out what the missions are and uh, we'll hope for um, we'll hope for some better missions. And then I'll probably raid out to somebody depending on who's on. And we'll uh, we'll call things here. Um, but I want to thank as we get ready for that. I want to thank everybody for, you for dropping by as uh, we wind down the uh, as we wind down the weekend here. Um, had some had some fun. We did get through the campaign mission. OK, we got you know, we had a wrinkle show up, but nothing completely crazy. Hey, ghosty. How are you, buddy? Um, so but even that we we handled the uh, we handled the curveball that that mission threw our way pretty well. Um, that work order you submitted perfect. So we will go in. We'll be at Alloway. Yeah, I know Darius. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so we'll, we'll be okay here. Oh, for fuck's sakes. What the hell is this shit? <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? I've never had this random encounter before in the command center, a comm system squawks command. Anybody? It's behemoth with a nervy edge in her voice. There's a big fire in the barracks. Oh shit. 
everybody's out, but not our stuff. Is there anything else I could do? Dr. Mrad calls out a reply. How did? Her voice is sharp with alarm. Moments later, she continues, Commander, I've turned off power and ventilation, but the fire won't go out while there's oxygen to burn. I'm going to have to remotely vent the pod. Commander Decker just found, uh, Commander Decker just found some dusty fire extinguishers behind a panel, says Behemoth. All right, well, since she's brave, fuck. Uh, I guess I'm going to allow Behemoth to try to put out the fire herself, considering we're allowed to do that. I wonder what happens if we vent the pod to space. If we vent the pod to space, our morale probably goes down. We can't take a morale hit, so let's try and see what happens. Uh, all right, so speaking into the comm, you address your mech warrior. Do you want to try putting it out yourself, Behemoth? She shouts out a hasty reply. Happy to do it if it saves our stuff. In the background, you hear Decker's protestations. At the next morning briefing, Dr. Murad gives an update. Behemoth was able to single-handedly extinguish the fire. It's because she's fucking awesome. Uh, preventing damage to the, ha uh, to the hab and avoiding getting injured herself. She continues. Now, this fire was caused by a fault in the power system itself, which none incidentally also discover disabled the Argo's automated fire suppression systems. I strongly advise upgrading the ship's power conduits as soon as possible. So we lose 2000 sea bills, whoop de fucking do, but our morale increased by one, which we fucking desperately need. So that is awesome. Uh, so let's advance here. And uh, oh, I well, thank you for uh, doing the shout out for me, Kara. I appreciate that. I was just about to do those. We've arrived at our destination, Commander. All right, so we're going to continue. Let's take a look at what our what our missions are here. Good. Oh, you motherfucker. You fucking motherfucker. You fucked me. You gave me no missions. We came this way for missions. You gave me no missions. Shit. All right. Well, let's sell the Vindicator. We got to sell the Vindicator now. Shit. Oh, that sucks so much. That sucks so much. So this is probably as poor of a start to the campaign as I may have ever had. I can't remember having this poor luck with missions or with uh, how things have somewhat gone with the start of a campaign that I can remember. But that gets us to 815,000 sea bills. And that will allow us to do one of these two missions uh, and also travel for free. So we're going to have to do this one. We'll make it there and it'll it'll be all right. But uh, we didn't have time because our financial report was in eight days. So we couldn't go bankrupt. We, we couldn't allow ourselves to go bankrupt. That would have been that would have been bad. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're going to have to we're going to have to do this one. But at least we'll get it. We'll at least do a pirate mission and we'll be OK. Uh, yes, we need money. So we're going to accept that mission and off we go. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Um, so anyway, I'm going to pause it here because this seems like a good place to start as of, uh, as of next stream. That'll be good. We'll go there. We'll do some warm ups. Hopefully we'll rebuild our, our war chest. Um, with any luck, we can work our way back to Herodotus by a victor that will be that will make us much more capable of dealing with crazy missions like that just did where we couldn't necessarily do enough damage although the damn SRM carrier dropping was such horrendous luck those SRM carriers just fuck you up endlessly well you guys were here we just sat here while missile after missile after missile stripped off my armor and we're just like yep Fuck my lifetime. <laughs> so we'll save this. Let's see who's on. Um, let's see who we could raid out to. It's a little early, but my neck is still... I'm still working up my strength in my neck. If uh, if it weren't for that, I think I'd stream for another hour. But because um, I definitely don't like necessarily ending on this kind of a note. I would much rather end on a note where we actually succeeded. But also in a way, this was also good to kind of see how it's like, all right, well, when a mission's going sideways, sometimes it just makes more sense to get the good faith effort withdrawal. We were really able to accomplish an objective. Um, and so we didn't take too much faction rep damage with that. Uh, we pretty much just got out of there um, without losing any pilots. It, it wasn't catastrophic. It just wasn't great. But we did complete our campaign mission. And um, uh, I guess the only thing on is Riona here. Um, I guess we could, she's playing the uh, game where she talks to, uh, 
where she talks to people. <laughs> uh, I guess that's a good question. Do we do we raid out to Riona or do we just kind of call it a night? Um, I'm thinking maybe we'll just call it a night, actually, because um, I actually am thinking leaning towards just taking a rest. Um, I'm thinking that's a that's a good plan. So let's uh, let's just wrap things up here and uh, let's see. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out. Kara already took care of, uh, of most of the shout outs, but there's uh, there's a there's an important one. There we go. Why, thank you, Kara. I appreciate it. But uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out. Well, uh, I hope everybody had a great weekend. Have a great week that uh, that looms ahead for us. Um, I will stream. That's a good question. Um, I'm actually not sure. I'm still trying to figure out my schedule. Um, but most likely, uh, I'm looking at, at either streaming Wednesday night or, uh, or maybe even Tuesday night, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. I might just do my old, uh, faithful Thursday night, but I'll, I'll post it on, I'll post it on Twitter. And of course you'll get the email notification as, uh, Seraph tries to figure out what the hell he's doing while, uh, while I come back from, uh, uh, on being on the men. So, but the good news is I'm recovering pretty well and uh, having some fun streaming. So we're gonna just gonna continue with BattleTech and hopefully next time we'll have some better luck with the missions and or our pilots will actually start getting better and we can hit a little more and we'll just be more effective in general. So in any event, everybody have a wonderful night and take it easy and I will see you guys all on the next one. Cheers and ciao.